I think the generalization and the minimization of people's work is absolutely wrong. It was definitely wrong. I don't think you should have done that. But I definitely don't think also like this whole thing that we we need to stop looking at each other like oh we're a community we're gonna help each other one one person goes through the door we're gonna we need that i as i used to believe i used to like i said i used to sit here and think like oh people are gonna get opportunities and with that opportunities they get we are we're, we're a community they're gonna try to open doors for others we need to stop having that like you're just gonna disappoint yourself if that's not if you want to do that for your community and your community is who cares your community is whatever you define it to be your community could be your brother your mom and your your, your nieces and nephew and that's the people you care for so we need to start having these expectations that okay dam is in this space now or victor is in this or they have this many following and that okay where their community they're gonna come back and uplift their community fuck fuck that because what i've learned is everybody a lot of people are looking out for themselves people want these things to move but they want to be at the forefront of when the things move penny for my thoughts because you know i'm trying to change if i ever took a loss charge it to the game when we see guys we don't do you know what sometimes i like you ever watch a movie or or even a show or anything and you just want the like the bad guy to win just for the plot 100 just just to see what happens because you know i'm i'm sick of watching tv shows and it's like it's all going downhill and yeah, the last yeah. minute one holy yeah, grail yeah, yeah. somebody comes at the last second and say bro just die i think that's why i like like the dark knight the first the one with the joker oh uh-huh. because i felt like that was what like i remember it was 2008 the first time i watched the movie and i was like oh the villain proved this point because it turned like the lawyer what to mm-hmm. harvey, harvey, Dent. Dent. harvey Dent. he turned him into it was like oh and because i was saying that because that's how i felt about john jones this week in the fight week i was keeping up with the content yeah and he was trolling he was being a heel he was being yeah. a villain oh he's leaned he's leaned oh he it. leaned and all week and i was like people was like i was like i'd be like i just wanted to win just for the plot <laughs> i just want to see he was always good. how this plays out if because if Stevie wins i'm like then it's not fun anymore man <laughs> Nah, nah, John was always gonna yeah, win. Yeah, it's the same, it's the same, like, obviously now he's fucked up. It used to be like the same when Connor used to fight. I just want to win, because I think it's, it makes for better storylines when those characters are involved and they're doing well, but yeah. But I, I realized that Deep Tone was like, yeah, sometimes when the villain wins, it makes for a... It makes it sweet. A, yeah, it makes for a better plot. Cause, but, because, like, you know, for so many years, we've been watching TV shows and video and all this, and no matter how bad the, the hero gets in this situation yeah, yeah. they always somehow yeah, yeah, get out of it yeah, yeah. That's, that's why the first time I was watching Game of Thrones and Ned Stark get his head chopped off I was waiting for someone to be like no last minute yeah, and then yeah. I see his head roll you're I said like, swear and all of a sudden all of a sudden you're like I was give hooked. me I was next hooked. episode uh, bro even the Red Wedding I was <laughs> hooked <laughs> you're, like, but, you're like oh I think because that's, that's the, what we do that's the first time in a TV show that I've seen main characters just be allowed to die. Yeah, yeah. Because, like, Prison Break, no matter what no happened, matter what. you know Schofield isn't dying, you know Michael isn't dying, you know all these people <laughs> aren't dying, and it's like, it loses that edge, because at the end yeah. of the day, I know it's like... They're going to get... how they, It's just about how do they get kind of get away from this, rather than how... They, they're, but yeah, so I was just like, yeah, sometimes it just makes for, like... It, not even my life. I was like, yeah, you just need the bad guy, the villain to win every now and again just for the plot. <sighs> Anyways, but uh, even on Prison Break, I, I maintain that's that's probably one of the, the best season ones of TV show ever. Uh, no one, no one, the best. It's the best. <laughs> like I can't because someone said West Western World, Western World, West World, West World. I, don't I haven't seen it. it. Yeah, I didn't watch it either. But I think that has the best season one, and I think like Breaking Bad has the best like season four and five, like the last two seasons. Breaking Bad ends well, start shit, start shit. Yeah, but Prison Break. It's like that horse drawing. Yeah, yeah, that famous yeah, yeah. That's bro. That first season <laughs> that of Prison first, Break, oh, that's like, like from episode, because like I've shown it to a couple of people. Yeah, from episode one, yeah. it's like you're hooked. Yeah, 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 like straight. And even actually, you know, even in Prison Break, when granted it, it didn't really fuck him up too much, but like when Michael uh, Schofield gets his his toes chopped off. Yes, yes it's yes. like in episode two or something, yeah. and I'm like, and then even season two is actually good, where Mahomes is chasing them. Yeah. yeah, Alexander Mahomes is like he's on their case, and it's him and Michael are playing like chess and checkers mm-hmm. and they're on Those first two seasons, I was like, I you know, what? season three is season three is the one where they're in that 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 prison. That yeah, they go back prison. to that prison. Yeah, that, that wasn't too that bad. one wasn't bad. It wasn't bad because what's called what's what's his name Bellic that pussy. Yeah. You, you really you really see his downfall, and I was so yeah. happy because oh he was a bitch. Yeah. He was a fucking he was one of those people bitch. that have power and don't know how to they have small parts for responsibility, and they think they're the guy. Yeah, oh, stop. Few man like that, you know. I digress. I digress. Oh, I digress. Me. I digress. It feels good to be back. It feels good to be back. Tom, shout out Tom's man. Text me straight away this morning. Says no episode. See, that's how you, that's how you know niggas don't listen because I, I said it last week. Yo, we're, we're not here next week. week. <laughs> no episode, oh, yeah. well, how are fine. you, man? How's it going? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm. Ch- I was actually sick last week. Yeah, I saw that. Like, what? Three days. Like, you, you could, kid, Simi was sick. I think she gave it to my kid. 
and then he was sick, and obviously then I'm nurturing him, so then I get sick. So I think people, parents used to always say this again: the minute your kid gets sick and comes back to you, it's, it's just yeah, it's become, inevitable because yeah, you, yeah. you can't avoid your kid. But uh, but then it hits you, and I was deep, and I was like, people get sick and have to be parents. Yeah. It's crazy. Wait, is this your first time getting sick? With him? Yeah, proper sick. Like you have, mm-hmm. you know, when you just have like a yeah, cough, that doesn't count. It doesn't count. But this was first time you actually feel like you know when you feel your body's like run down mm-hmm. and just like you want to just lay there and just feel better and you're like, <laughs> and, then, and then this 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 little kid is just like <laughs> just looking at you. Up. They have no, they have no disregard for the world. It's like, hey, I'm just gonna live the life the way I keep living. Like, but thank God I was like could work from home all through those three days next week all the way to leave on Tuesday. So I left office on Tuesday, didn't come back till. Tuesday night, so I just didn't have enough to call in sick. So, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, we thank God. We thank God. How are you doing? Know? Dad, you're not gonna sell me short today. <laughs> you're no, not no, going no. to. How was your week? <laughs> wait, 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 before you, before you get <laughs> they're not gonna be like, oh, it's cool. Like, how, 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 was, how, how was it dealing with this, dealing with a sick kid? He, like, shout out to my wife, man, because the because she takes off Monday now. So, the first night he was sick, he was proper sick, he just couldn't sleep, mm-hmm. couldn't close his eyes, and she stayed up with him because I still had to go to work the next day. Mm-hmm. So I had to go to the spare room and sleep and shout out to you. Like, you see, you, sometimes you're not going to see a side of a person until you're in that situation that where you have to see a side of a person and mm-hmm. you're seeing the caring and nurturing and sacrificing side of your partner. Yeah. And it's also it's also beautiful to see because it, force, not forces you, but it also shows you like, okay, if she's about it, I have to be about it. Yeah, like, yeah, if, yeah. if they're going to be about it, there's no, nobody's caught in corners. So she like basically didn't sleep, slept for like an hour. But I think after then two days, the thing about him is like, he's at that stage where he's at like toddler, so he wants to play. Like he doesn't want to be held unless he's high. Like he just wants to play all the yeah. time. So even if you'd be sick, he'll still want to run around and his body will just shut down. <laughs> then he'll come back and he's like, oh, fine, <laughs> I can't do this. And I'm watching him run. I'm like, bro, you're, you're, you're not feeling well. But he doesn't know. He doesn't know that his body's not. Like he still thinks like, oh, me, I'm still me. You're not feeling well. And then you're like, then he, by the time he feels better, or at least he's like, norm, he's, he's back to his normal self to, to an extent, you're sick now. So now you're, you're kind of like, I just want to lie here and do nothing. See, wait, I, at the point your kid gets sick, why don't you just start popping pills? I did. The minute he got sick, I started taking, I started taking drinking Lemsip. You're trying to preempt it. It's a hit you. Uh, but apparently, apparently it's the Lemsip, the Lemsip sachet ones that you drink, they don't work. I, that, they do I nothing. Use, I didn't use it this time, thank God. <laughs> Timmy said the same exam thing to me that people are suing them because the, 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 they, they, they don't don't do it. it's just to, it's placebo to make yourself feel better. So I didn't take that one. I took another one that we got from the North. I can't remember the name. Mm-hmm. Maybe that one even doesn't work. Maybe I should just give up on those things. But I also started taking my, I, will, I always take my vitamins in the winter anyways. And I was like, I'm taking all of that and I'm just like, yeah, it still hit mm-hmm. me. But I was down basically from last. I'm still not like back, back, but fully. People that go gym, how do I want to go back? Because I've gone back to the gym too early after being sick and I felt sick again because my body wasn't like mm-hmm. ready to go back. So now I have no idea. Yeah, but just work. like, if you're still feeling a little bit, mm, why don't yeah. you just go in and just go go light? Yeah, no, I, I was going to. Like, because like, you probably went in and started to PB. Did you know that was, I haven't been here for two weeks. So let me hear from you. have to again. live for all of the weeks that you didn't live. <laughs> so your yeah, ego's telling you, bro, you haven't been here for two weeks, you're losing all the gains. Yeah, then you, you go hide again and I fell sick again. I was like, no, I gotta wait till I feel. But it, was, it wasn't, having, like, obviously because Simi's there as well, so you kind of do have the help, but at just at the, the, by the time it gets like six, seven, Mm-hmm. Your body's just like I just want to sleep, or you just can't. She can't. She can't do it. But oh, fair enough. You were doing um, for the word still. Got I got stuff to charge to the game real quick. Oh, you charge to the game. So um, I got a ticket the other day. <laughs> I, so okay, in the comments, at what point are we going to acknowledge it's DG's fault? <laughs> at what point are we going to acknowledge he's a problem? <laughs> like every day, there's tickets. Someone's looking at him weird. There's a fine. Someone doesn't want to get into his car to cut. Uh, what is it to Look, <laughs> to get a lift? But I'm just funny. Isn't it? <laughs> Women are looking at him walk across the street, are turning up their windows. <laughs> Look, what are you for? is um. So I, I parked whatever. I come back. And I see a ticket on my car. And I'm like, that's weird because I bought a parking ticket. Yeah, like, yeah. I paid for parking. Take it. I'm, I'm, at this point, I've lost my head. I'm vexed. <laughs> <laughs> like, nice. no, as in, bro, I'm, I'm walking up and down the street looking for these parking guys. Why <laughs> are you going to fight them? <laughs> I'm so. <laughs> bro, my head is gone. Also, awesome, before uh, you continue, isn't that such a jobless job? Uh, you honestly, <laughs> it's such a honestly, jobless job. It, uh, like your job does nothing but bring pain, <laughs> hurt, and anger to people. It's Do you so, like it's so jobless? You know what? Get a job, man. At, at that point, you might be someone that just like you might as well just go like sign up to go torture people or something. You're doing the same thing. Like, <laughs> well, yeah. Anyways, walk so up your car? walking up, up and down, up and down, looking for this person because I'm like, I bought, I paid for parking. 
I looked at the time on the ticket. You literally gave me a ticket 10 minutes after I paid oh, for parking. God. So I'm vexed. Oh. So I'm walking up down, walk, walk down. I think they're on lunch at this time, so I can't find anybody. Good. So then I sit down and I'm like, let me actually read this fucking ticket. I'm getting a ticket because I failed to display a valid tax disc. Now, here's the catch. Uh, can they do that? Yeah. Apparently I think they were just, the thing is just, you, nope. you, you didn't park in the right place. Or so. Nope. Nah, Taxes. these things are so jobless. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> like, I know, this, this is the part that fucking annoys me. I have the tax. What? The tax disc was in my, was in my glove compartment. Oh, I just uh, forgot to put it on. Can you appeal? I, I, can I? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I've already, I, I, I got the ticket. 20 minutes later, that appeal was in. Because like, what happened was on the day that I was going to, I got my tax disc. I just forgot to put it in. So I just threw it in the glove compartment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just forgot about it. Yeah. So now, I'm like, I don't have tax. It's right there. <laughs> and I don't know why, why don't they have the fucking, the fucking scanning yoke to find out if you have tax. Mm, like if like, you just have your, your license and put it in do you get what I'm saying because you have to take a picture you took a picture yeah, of my license you took a picture of this you took a picture of this and like also you know some places you can pay for parking on online and you don't have a disc so there's clearly well, some because they have on- to make money I think that's why they have to they, the whole scam is the whole business is finding to get money but if I so have, have to, if I, I know have I hear you so they have, that's what they say display that's what they say not that you need to have tasks anyway sir display your tasks because that's a jobless job but yeah what's called I appealed it we beat the case I'm not paying that shit Bro, I took a picture of everything. Like, look, bang, 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 sent it. I like, I look, I, I just got the, I just got the email the other day that yeah, you don't have to pay. This is sixty euro, sixty euro fine, bro. God, find, find that guy. Tell him to pay. <laughs> bro, I, fam, it's good that they were lunch <laughs> because I, I was vexed, bro. I've never been so like you know, you know that feeling when you get a ticket, yeah. you're annoyed anyway. Yeah. But now getting a ticket that you know you don't deserve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was all, oh, bro, I was so vexed. That's when I got parking ticket was when Simi was in the hospital when she was like close to giving birth. You know when you just park quickly, yeah, jump yeah. something, come back, give me a ticket. You see, the, when, 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 like, when, Nick, when Nick's like that, yeah, you must be waiting. You, you must be in one corner like this. <laughs> Do you think they're incentivized as well? Like the more ticket you give, the more you'll get paid as well. I don't think they're incentivized. I, I assume there's probably a quarter. Where it's but like, you meet, if you yeah, don't hit yeah. this quota, you're in trouble and you end up on a, <coughs> on a whatever, whatever, whatever. Those niggas are niggas that clamp. Fuck them both. <laughs> Fuck them both. I've never been clamped, but I've seen people that have been clamped. For, for, yeah, I only see people get, clamped. I, clamped. I, 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 I would take a ticket over getting clamped any day. 100%, because I can't drive, I can't go anywhere. I have to call you, wait for you. And you, who, who God knows where yeah. you might be. Look, a lot of times they say it will take, they tell you it's an hour. God. So you, you just have to sit there. Well? More than once, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, remember you actually got clamped on a Sunday before. Oh, <laughs> I remember that story. Bro, you went oh to, you know, my god, yeah, you went to Wild and Out. I went to rehearsals for rehearsals. Wild and Out, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the worst part about it is because I'm looking at it like, and it's probably a bad thing. If I see enough cars there, I'm doing it too. Yeah. <laughs> like if you because, can't, you can't clamp. Us all. I, I was wrong. They clamped us all, <laughs> bro. They clamped the whole like from that day. That them niggas were eating. <laughs> He licked his lips and he said that. He said, I don't have to clap a single car for the rest of the week. At what, at what point do you run out of fucking clamps? Because <laughs> bro, it was like 10 cars. <laughs> and the worst thing about the clamp as well, they, they put this stupid sticker on yeah. your fucking window. Now I'm here trying to peel this shit up. Oh, fuck. No, I hate, I hate getting, I hate getting clamped. I've never I, been, I've, I've got a ticket once where I've never been clamped. But I think clamping thing is only in town. I used to drive, I used to only drive in town like after seven, free parking. Yeah, no, what's called? Two, two, two. Bro, I got clamped after seven. On a, yeah, it was a Sunday. No, no. Uh, yeah, one yeah, time yeah, was yeah. a Sunday. Yeah. The other oh, time it was during the week after seven. Clamped. <laughs> I, you know, you don't even know where I parked. I parked in like, you know when you're going into Temple Bar? Yeah. Like, you know where the Apache is? Yes. Like, right like across yes, from the yes, gay yes, Bar? Yes. From, clamped. <laughs> I, I came How much is clamping when you get clamped? 110. Jesus Christ. Bro, that's when I'm thinking, yo, which fraud boy do I, I know that can I pay this over the phone for me? I remember my dad got clamped before the Affinim came out that day. Like, he, he, he actually found him. He saw them. He saw the guys. Let's <laughs> give him down to him. I don't know if you, I don't know if you didn't get out of it. He still had to pay, but oh, yeah, he, vexed. he was vexed. He was vexed all the time. I, 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 doing that job, yeah, like, 
can you deal with being that disliked by everybody? <laughs> <laughs> because if I see you, I don't like you. There's nothing about you but that I like. People, as you, some people love it though. Yeah, I guess some so. People, it's, some people, those people that give tickets on the train or mm. bus or whatever. Those are the villains I don't want to see with. Do, do you know, they they love that they have a, that element of like, yeah, I can, I have I have a bit of power here today. I can do something. Yeah, fuck that shit. <laughs> fuck those fuck that shit. Anyways, um, yeah, now nah, what's called? Um, the week was good. Yeah? Um, why, why weren't we here last week then? Check, what's called? Cool? My boy got married. Come on. Flew out to Morocco. Free. Yeah, man. Shout out to Love and That. Dude, shout out to Love For, and That. What's going on? be you, soon this, be you. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? Because I, I was there for the beginning of their love story. Okay. Like, like as in the day they met, I was the, there. Oh, okay. But, um, does does yeah. she have one of those stories like when I saw her? Or, is it, or, does, she, or does she have one of those stories that like you hate? I wasn't even checking for him like that. And then nah, <laughs> nah. See, this, this particular boy, yeah, he doesn't believe in talking stages. Oh. He'll meet you two weeks, show his girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> When he, when he knows, he knows. <laughs> when, you know, when you know, when it's time. <laughs> Fam, he's a, but like, I literally, I was there, he met, he, I think he met her, and then I was chatting to him like maybe like a month later, he's like, oh yeah, that's my girlfriend. Now. I said, bro, you, did you not just meet her? Ah, <laughs> uh, this demographic, we need to move away from talking stage. We need to be like your boy. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, clearly he's doing something, right? <laughs> exactly. Meet them, and by, two, by one month, how do you not know if this is your girlfriend? You want to be talking, what are you talking about? Do you know what I'm saying? How, how many, you how many what, what, what's your favorite color? <laughs> You've asked how she eats it. She's eating. <laughs> she's eating. She's eating. Why is me? <laughs> Why are you wasting her fucking time, man? Well, um, I hear it. I hear it. What, <laughs> yeah, what's called? Um, fucking the morning that I'm supposed to get, I'm supposed to fly now. I just start sneezing and getting sick and shit. Oh. Vags. Like, why is it that day? <sighs> Anyways, get to the airport. Popping pill. Bro, I <laughs> call the flu. <laughs> just every couple of hours because I know I'm drinking later on as well uh, mm, you, you can't, I can't mess out the fun you think I'm getting let's so, I'll, I'll deal with the sickness even when I'm back and let me be, Bob, let me just, just have my fun postpone it for the four days yeah, yeah. just for when I'm back kill me yeah. but just for these four days let me enjoy it yeah. anyways what's called flu there first of all Morocco's fucking expensive is it yeah well, it's not fucking expensive it's, just, well, it's more expensive than you thought it would be exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. like bro why is a 10 minute taxi ride costing me 15 quid or 20 well, quid you have to negotiate even with the negotiation. Oh, okay. Like, you have to be haggling and all it, that. Cause, and also... Damn yeah, it, for 15 quid. I, I need to buy... I need I need to stop, get out of the habit of not carrying around a wallet. Mm-hmm. Because I went there, no ID, no card. Where's your license? It's in my car. <laughs> Just get a case and put your license on the back of your case. That's what I do. Yeah, that's long, bro. <laughs> no, it's not good. You can't no, get your phone no, everywhere. Cause, no, because you know what and it is. And that's what I mean. You have ID and your phone. Everything you, but you know, you know what it is, yeah? I've got like I didn't have a li- I didn't have a license for like over a year, so I just be forgetting allegedly, that I have it. Allegedly, no, no, no. no. What's called? I had I my license was valid. I just lost the card. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. like I I just don't carry around. I never carry cash because I hate ha- carrying cash. Well, you actually, and then you don't technically need ID because who's gonna believe you're not the, the of age? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm I rarely get yeah. ID anywhere I go. What it was a problem when I went to LA as well because I forgot my ID and my card there too. Well, at least you have to bring your passport around then. Yeah, because yeah. like they they don't play. Yeah, 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 yeah. they don't play. Yeah. Anyways, what's called? Um, so now we're leaving the airport, and I wasn't staying in the same hotel that everyone was staying. Is I, I stayed like ten minutes away for the first for the first day or whatever. Well, okay. So get in the car, the taxi drops drops people at the first hotel, and I'm in the taxi like yo, like I ain't got cash, but can I can I send you peas like how Western Union, whatever, whatever, whatever. Guy pulls up on the side of the road. It's like. We gotta sort this out. <laughs> I was like, can you, cause he doesn't really speak English as well. Yeah. And he's like, you can't ATM. I'm, I'm like, brother, I'm pulling up Google Translate. Brother, I don't have my card. I will send you peas wherever you need the peas. Just, yeah. man, drop me back at the, <laughs> back at the other hotel. So why'd you stay for the night? You have to, find you have to go ask someone for cash. I had to, when I got back there, I had to call my boy like, yo, <laughs> you got some cash. Give me some cash. <laughs> Nah, I thought because the guy thought you're gonna you're you're Morgan, <laughs> the mm. taxi driver. Bro, <laughs> you you send me account detail. Let me send money, bro. <laughs> that, that's how they do. Like and when I went to Lagos, that's how they did it. Everybody just re- remitly so they, they give you account number, you send the money. Yeah, because it's like straight away. Yeah, because that's what that's what I was thinking. I we didn't have remitly for 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 that dude. Yeah, and so I was like, oh look, I will like I don't mind paying. It's not like I'm trying to bump you or anything, yeah, yeah. whatever. And also, this is the thing, yeah. So, from the airport to the hotel was about twenty minutes, two hundred. D rooms, yeah. Mm. Ten minutes from this airport, from this hotel to my hotel, two hundred dirhams, <laughs> brother. Brother, come on. They just have a set price. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you're paying. Do you have to tell him? No, I pay straight. No, no. I, no, I, no. I, I, you don't think I said that to him? <laughs> no. He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> it's Anyways, actually, 
Especially because you have a suitcase, you have to get to your hotel. Yeah, do you get, do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> the ball's in my car right now. Just, okay, I'll take someone else. I'll call someone Any, else. Anyways, I was like, yeah, yeah, just go. Call someone else. He said the same thing. I was like, at this point, I had the cash. I just didn't give a fuck. Just get me to my hotel. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So get to my hotel now, yeah. Those, the place was all right. Like, I'm not going to lie. But I don't know why some places have showers and like baths with no curtains or anything. Okay. So I have my laptop over there trying to play some music, you know, get get the vibe because we're going out, take a shower and all this kind of shit. I, I turn on the water and then, you know, it's like one of those, um, like the handheld ones that you like you shower yourself with. Yeah. Bro, the water pressure sprayed the water everywhere all over my laptop. Now one, now one of the ports of my laptop doesn't fucking work. God, what, <laughs> what a first evening. So bro. you're sick on the way. <laughs> the taxi man said, go back to your place. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> now you're finally at your place and there's the shower saying, fuck the laptop. <laughs> but you still made it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, still, still I, still, I still made it out eventually. That night out was it was calm, wasn't anything special. Is that the one? First of all, let's just I, let's stop this. Yeah, they just, most of the time I talk to Dej all the time. He doesn't go anywhere. He does. He stays in his house. Yeah, but now I've seen him. After he's out, why is he on stage speaking? <laughs> <laughs> I saw you. It's happened twice. <laughs> every time. <laughs> every time you've been out. <laughs> uh, so, every time you've been out in the last one. It's okay, so <laughs> so what happened was what happened was so the next day then was the pre wedding party. Okay, yeah, and we we moved to the hotel that we're staying in. Yeah. We moved to the hotel that all the groomsmen and bridesmaids and all that were staying in. Yeah. Calm, isn't it? And then we're getting ready for the for the pre wedding party. And my boy just goes to me, he's like, "Yo, Ditch. So um, the MC that we had for tonight, something happened with his flight. He's delayed or something. So it's on you, isn't it? Yeah, it's okay, okay, yeah. Because it's his wedding. You have to hold it down. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. my guy. I'm not gonna say. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm not yeah, gonna yeah, say yeah, no. Yeah. And it's not like you say, "Oh, I don't do this stuff." Like, shut up, man. I'm still in your house. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I was like, come like, to be honest, it wasn't, it wasn't, anything, it wasn't, anything, it wasn't yeah, it wasn't like, obviously because it's just like the bridal yeah, yeah. party and a few guests, every, so every, like money. everyone started giving speeches. Those were, were some really cute speeches. I'm Aww. not gonna lie. I had to give it a little impromptu speech to my boy, <laughs> um, and yeah, that was cool. Like open bar for an hour, everyone's trying to get drunk quickly. <laughs> come, how greedy! Guy. You see someone coming up with four drinks, you're like, Bro. how greedy! Fam, they, they was like the first thing everybody looks at each other, tequila shots here. <laughs> There's like 20 of us trying to take it. But like, and this was the day before the wedding? Or yeah, this the, the, this the night before the wedding. Like, okay, okay. Night before the wedding, so we're all drinking, blah, 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 blah. Like, it's cool. Um, speeches make my boy cry. <laughs> they just said, I was a man. <laughs> That's what he said. He looked at the camera. He didn't say anything. It, 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 was, it was so cute. It was so beautiful. Um, but yeah, that happened. Um, then the next day was the day of the wedding. And what happened on the day of the wedding again? Um, yeah, the wedding just just went how okay. how how the wedding went. You know how, how I see. I was seeing you on stories, people tagging you. You like you look like you were having a time. You were bro, a good time bro, we were having a good fucking. How's the weather, Morocco? This time of year, it it was calm. Like it wasn't super hot. Yeah, okay. But like okay. in the evenings, it got chilly. Like okay, but it was it was calm. Like it wasn't yeah. it wasn't like unbearably hot or anything yeah, this like is that. The time of year that I, I I prefer to go to like those desert countries. Mm-hmm. But so how did the wedding go? Uh, DJ. DJ was on vibes, yeah. bro. I, I was getting scared because, right, like, we're sitting down to eat and, like, all this kind of shit, right? And this guy's playing bangers. Okay. As in, like, bro, he's playing um, he's playing all the, like, old school R&Bs. You know what usually end the night with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is 9 o'clock. We've only, running out. We've only started. <laughs> they just get, like, bro, I, I'm, I'm, wow, we're, that's wow. where you see the videos for where everybody's on the table yeah, and vibing yes, out. Yes, yes, he, yes. Like, we're trying to eat. A man is playing bangers. <laughs> <laughs> like, people, like, <laughs> like the press people were like, we are trying to kill us. <laughs> They're just like, I'm not missing on these bangers. I'm going to dance now. <laughs> this, 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 that is exactly what happened. It's like, hey, I'm not but but in the back of my head, I'm like, it's nine o'clock. We're here till like three. Why are you playing this now? <laughs> what else this, have you got in your is, locker? This is throwaway music. That you sw- <laughs> this was right now while we're eating. This was almost like background music that yeah, we don't really care about. Yeah. You might be like, oh, that's a cool, that's a cool song, whatever. No, he's playing sing along bangers. That's cool. So now, now in my back of my head, I'm getting kind of like, yo, what's, what, what the fuck's gonna happen? And then also, what's called? Because something happened with the hotel, so we couldn't really get drinks technically. I like, couldn't okay. get alcohol really, so we had to be like sneaking alcohol, putting okay. tequila and water bottles and all this kind of shit. So you know when you're drinking, but your drinking is so spaced out yeah, 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 that you don't yeah, really yeah. have time to, to like get the balls going. Yeah, yeah, do you get what I'm saying? But we're, but we're trying. <laughs> boy, 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 we're, boy, we're trying, but um, yeah, people start giving speeches. Mom gives speech, uh, first dance, mom and dad, dad okay. and uh, mom and mom and son. What you know, all the all the all yeah, the, yeah. the fees that goes on, whatever. Now it's party time, and they had a little bar in the corner, corner, corner. Okay, so we start going to the bar and start getting drinks, 
And then this DJ, I don't know what, what drugs he was taking, fam, he just starts playing bangers. As in like... No repeats though. No, he did not repeat a single Shit, song. It's fair play. The, what's called, the uh, the groom was on the on the dance floor for the whole the whole of the after party. Like there was no sitting down, bro. <laughs> Even when I'm going to go get a drink, because like the drink place is like a little two minute walk away. Yeah. And then by the time you get your drink, I'm getting annoyed that I have to go get drinks. Yeah. Because I'm like, it's I'm hearing, I'm hearing bangers. <laughs> like I bro, I went to go get a drink. I miss, I miss my boy's mom breaking it down on the dance floor, him spraying her with money. I'm getting vexed. <laughs> I was like, you're halfway there. You're <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Du, du, du. I'm telling this guy, give me my drink, bro. <laughs> You're running back to the dance floor as well. Bro, yeah, I'm trying man. to run back to the... And then also, what's called? Since my boy, is, he, he told us that he wanted to get lit. So I was like, all right, cool. I'll, I'll take it upon myself that every time I see you, I'll look at your cup if there's anything. <laughs> I'm, I got finished. I don't even think you remember half the oh, half the after party. But um, yeah, good. but now it was just, it was just vibes, man. People were good vibes. I got we got some pictures. The gram will eat. Um, hey, I'll be there. <laughs> I don't know who's saying. I'm, just, I'm sending basic again. <laughs> then you told us, hey, But um, now to be to well, be fair, the weather the weather was vibes. The venue the venue like because the hotel we're staying in was actually late. Okay. Like because we did the. He had the whole hotel, like the whole like hotel villa kind of thing to us. Mm. And that's also where the wedding was as ah, well. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah. makes sense. Bro. That makes sense. Oh, fucking sense. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes those are broad weddings, especially for the white wedding. It just makes so much sense because then you, the real ones will come mm-hmm. and everybody can get like a mini holiday out of it. And if it's like, there, and then everybody, because I saw obviously on your stories, like Tolu was there, like from mm-hmm. Ibile. Shout out Ibile. And so it'll be people that you'll know as well and, yeah, and you can vibe out with them as well. So Yeah, no, it, it was a vibe. We found we got drunk. Had a good ass night. Then the next day, there was supposed to be a brunch for everybody. Mm. I don't think any of us woke up for the brunch. Because <laughs> after, the, after the after party, yeah. we also then went to the groom's room and we were playing games, taking shots, doing oh. all that. Bro, I don't think we left till like half four in the morning. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Then the next day, there was supposed to be a brunch. Nobody made it to the brunch. Then we were supposed to go for, then we went for like camera riding, um, quad biking. Oh, okay. And like, she what's called? Did, like, holiday activities. Yeah, yeah, we still, yeah, we still did holiday activities the next day. The camel, bro, those camels fucking stink, bro. Do they, yeah? They stink. Yeah, my parents were more called last year. They did all that stuff as well. Yeah, if I'm more, I'm, I'm riding this camel and the one in front of me just pissing. Ah. Like, just, yeah, nah, shit stinks. <laughs> but it was cool. Will I do it again? Probably not. Like, like, uh, Morocco or a broad holiday? A broad wedding? No, we broad wedding. We, yeah, I'm talking yeah. about the camera idea. Oh, the camera idea. I thought you meant like, Yo, would you hey, I'm wedding? down for it. I'm, I'm down for a broad wedding. Yeah, I think, uh, like I said, you, it's like a mini holiday as well. As like, we were talking before, off this, like people are going to Lagos. Like, yeah, you, you use that, you enjoy mm-hmm. yourself as well. And then also, you have the added holiday. benefit of it's actually going to make the add the group chat because the son's getting married. Mm-hmm. And it's like, mm-hmm. also, you know what it is? I think you would end up in spaces with a big group that you probably wouldn't be with yeah, if yeah. you're if you're just trying to plan yeah. a wedding yourself yeah. I mean plan a holiday yourself, holiday yourself yeah. but um, yeah apart were from you that, a bridal party or yeah I was a groomsman okay okay Jeez, that's it. So, was this one they bought from Galway or how, how yeah yeah what's Galway oh, we, okay. we, I used to live with him back in, back in Galway oh, yeah yeah, so, yeah, yeah he has my wife told me that she yeah, yeah, came so, with so, friend so, where so your so boys yeah, yeah so, so, so it's my yeah. boy yeah, 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 yeah it makes sense but him and his baby they moved to Canada got engaged all that kind of all that kind of back in Ireland or back in Canada now I don't got my scandal. Oh, okay. So they, they, okay. They yeah, just yeah. Came to I think, I think Morocco way. was just the place that it was the central hope for everybody to be. Oh, but, yeah, um, sense. yeah, man, love is beautiful and that. Ah, so, yeah. So you two as well, are you going to take us abroad for a wedding or what's the, what's the, <laughs> we'll see, we'll see when we get there. <laughs> yeah. Um, question. Yeah. On, on your, you probably don't remember too tough. Who had the better vows on your wedding? Be, uh, see Between we didn't your, give vows. What? See, we didn't do give any vows. See, we didn't do Oh, the vows. Yeah. I think the vows were just re- Wait, the ones you do at the wet at the halt altar, yeah, before yeah, you yeah, right. yeah. I think we just read what the priest said. So wait, you guys Yeah, no, you had you had oh wait, no, that was no, a speech. I did speech. I gave the, I gave a speech. I didn't I don't think I think the vows that says I Jordan will not uh, No, but give. did you write your own like little no, thing to say to us? Did you do that, yeah? Oh yeah, they did it. And, and and the bride the bride ate him up, bro. Yeah? She wrote him she under the table. <laughs> and it wasn't that his was bad. Yeah. His was super good. Yeah. But the way she started, it just went she had ghostwriters. <laughs> she, she, she said she didn't have any ghostwriters. I was like, I was like, rah. <laughs> did not did you know for, for his own days, like, yeah, that day. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm writing metaphors. I'll, I'll bro, scratch that. Fam, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not writing me. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, let's introduce the pod real quick. Anyways, yeah. anyways, we are here. We are charge. Bang bang. This is the podcast with the highest level of Nasty Culture needs. Skr. I'm Daddy J, but you man can call me Jordan. And I'm here with you know she goes for her voice, big day, and you go to Midas Touch. Right. We weren't here last week, so we couldn't really react to this, and we've seen the reactions to everybody on the timeline. So we said we'll give our own take. You know, Victor Alfred. Of course. <laughs> we know. <laughs> we've moved for Victor Alfred. So Victor Alfred was on a... <sighs> will I play the video or will I just explain it? It's easier to explain it. You, whichever one. Yeah, yeah. Victor Alfred was on a stream with Moses London. And uh, obviously when you're on streaming, there's a chat with, cause the, and there's comments coming through and they ask a question about creatives in Ireland. Or, yeah, creatives in Ireland, the content creators in Ireland. What you get content creators specifically. And Moses said, oh, Victor, this is a question for you. And Victor was like, do you know what? what? Do you know what I think it is? When the pandemic was happening, we had 20 people that started YouTube or, or something like that. And as the time went on, nobody does YouTube. Nobody's doing it anymore. And I think people in Ireland don't like grinding. They don't like, they don't like to grind. And so they, they're running away from the hard work, essentially. I <laughs> watched it because I was going to watch your head out today, yeah. And a part of it is because when they kind of... Uh, ignited his bravado, Moses. Who Moses says, "What are you afraid to speak because you think they'll beat you up when you go there or something?" Exactly. And it's like, like "What? Moses. I'm not afraid to." So then he said, he felt mm-hmm. like I'm gonna speak with chess. I, I kind of like noticed that a little bit. It's like, okay, they said, "What? You you scared to speak nah, up?" You, no, so, play, play the fucking clip. Play yeah. the fucking clip. So I'll play the clip. I'll find it quick. So. Yeah, nah, because what's called um, while he's finding that. Look, we are charged to the game. We are the podcast of the oh. year. <laughs> okay, uh, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. All them things there. What the hell is this? That's that's not it. <laughs> Yeah, there is. I was to ask you about opinions on other creators in Ireland. So, like, okay, before I ask that question, mm-hmm. I don't know that many other creators in Ireland, right. apart from the ones that have moved to the UK. And there's a reason for that. Okay. Mm-hmm. What, what's, what's the reason for that? Yeah, Chat, Victor's being very careful. Okay. Do you know what, if, I get it. No, I hear it. I hear it. If I lived here, yeah. if I was coming back to Ireland next. Why are they going to punch you up when you get there? Nah, no one's touching me. What? Are you flipping? Nah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, let, me, let me be honest. Okay. Irish creators. There was a time during COVID mm-hmm. where I could say there was about guys. If there's any Irish people in this place, let me know if I'm lying. During COVID or right before COVID, yeah, there could have been about 30 YouTubers, 30 people that started YouTube in Ireland. Mm-hmm. After COVID, not there anymore. Irish people don't like, in my opinion, they don't like to grind. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So ask me. Okay. So, what was your initial reaction when you heard or saw that? Like your first thing you felt, and then afterwards, there's obviously you've probably seen more that. Cause you to feel different, you think differently. But the first thing, your initial reaction when you saw that, I just said, "All right." I, I was the same, it. and that's why I came to the group chat because that was my initial reaction. Then I go on Twitter, and I see people like, or even in the comment, I see people like giving out, have expressing their opinion, and being let down by Victor. Then I come to you guys, I'm like, "Am I just? Do I just let people off the hook?" And yeah. because I'm just like, uh, I don't really care. Like it just, or I don't see it that way. No, like whatever. I just like. Or do I just avoid disappointment? Am I just letting off the hook because I'm like, I don't really expect anything from Victor. Like, because the, the point, the POV was, that was Victor's opportunity to big up the people who are doing well in Ireland. He's on a platform, he's on a stream, and this is a chance for you to be like, do you know what, in Ireland, we have content creators that do this, X, Y, Z, and then to big them up. And he didn't do that. Instead, it felt like he went the opposite route. He went to the route of like, Shit yeah, they're not working. Yeah, they're not working hard <laughs> enough. I didn't even, I didn't even, initially, I didn't even see that. I didn't even clock it. I just thought, oh, rah, mad close the app then you go on twitter and you're seeing like being let down by victor it's typical niggas will do this they get out and then they start shitting on other people and i was like okay i see the perspective but now that you've also that was initial reaction but now that you've had time to see other reactions and actually come up with your own opinions what do you think of the clip all right let me preface this with i am not hating we've sat here and we have supported victor yeah, we've yeah. shouted him out every yeah. time that He's gotten, he's hit a milestone Alien, and all yeah. that. However, oh. <laughs> however, um, nah. If 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 we're if I'm if I'm being completely honest, it just it's just very, it's reducing the problem to people are lazy. Yeah, that's and, how it looks like. Yeah, and that's not true. Mm-hmm. For every nineties babies in the UK, there's probably a hundred podcasts that didn't get past ten episodes. Yeah, like the same way, like. I'm not triggered. I see, I see some people that it's few, it feels, I'm not going to say people are triggered, yeah. but it feels like niggas are triggered. Yeah, yeah. And But I'm not because I don't give a fuck. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. I don't expect anything from, mm-hmm. from Victor. Mm-hmm. And like, what do this whole with great power comes great responsibility, blah, blah, blah. No one gives a fuck, man. Yeah. Like, just because honestly, 
have we seen him to be that? Mm-mm. Have we seen him to be the person that bigs up speak, speak, that speak, bigs speak, up speak, this speak. this whatever? And it's not a gripe on him. You don't have to do that. Like it's not it's not your job because you have a million followers to do that. Mm-hmm. Once again, a million followers is not an easy feat. Yeah. That's crazy, especially from your fucking bedroom mm-hmm. and your car. Crazy. You and a character <clears throat> you created that's also you. Exactly. However, <laughs> now yeah. yeah. Do you feel that way because what you did is very there's low barrier to entry. Mm-hmm. Like we're quitting. We're 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 leaving this thing, yeah. Is it because we're lazy mm. or because we don't like the grind? Because we went from having no mics t- doing it, having a place to record, and the nigga that just decided that he just wanted to ghost and he's nowhere to be seen anymore. <laughs> doing um, it on Zoom. <laughs> doing it on Zoom. What's called ending it on Zoom, starting it again, starting in your starting in your parents' house, li- leaving your leaving your parents' house, getting getting a space that we had to leave abruptly yeah. to find another space to come and grind and figure out everything. Mm. If you what's called, we've had days we've had to come in here twice a week, record two, three episodes a day. Like you can't say that yeah. niggas, niggas, niggas aren't grinding. Mm. Just because, like in every field for every Victor Alfred, there's gonna be fifty, there's gonna be 40, 50 people that did it and quit. For while we've been in this thing, we've been in this thing on and off since twenty seventeen. Mm-hmm. We've seen we've seen pods end. We've seen ones that didn't get past five episodes. We've seen ones that have gotten to a hundred episodes and ended. We've seen, like we've seen, we've seen it all. Mm-hmm. And I feel and like, that applies to a lot of, not just podcasts, but to musicians that have done the same thing. Mm-hmm. They've started two songs. They've so, like, and, and YouTubers. So this applies to a lot. And it's not just down to like, oh, people are lazy. Like, Facts. I think that's how it looks like. And I was listening to, if I speak with Naomi Jeremiah and like, I get the point that sometimes when we feel like, when people elevate and they get to a certain level, they should also open to the doors to the people behind. I, I understand that sentiment. And I remember when the Guinness thing happened here, and I, I think you weren't here on the episode, I think it was Dave and Hura that were here. And Dave was kind of like giving it a go. It was like, why are we like doing this? Why are we excluding people? Like, sort of, sort of. My POV then was like, look, regardless of me being there or not, if people are given opportunities and they can get into these doors, all you can do is the people that are given the opportunities, once they elevate, then they open it. It's a good to have a space that people can go get these opportunities. Now, since then, perspective has changed a little bit. Mm-hmm. I'm not expecting, and I don't know if this is me just uh, defend, like putting a defense mechanism to myself. I'm not expecting not people now to behave the how or maybe I would behave or you would behave in a circumstance that's given that, 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 that clout, let's say. Mm-hmm. Victor is in a space now. You think that like, okay, the thing you should do is big up your people and elevate your people and like, but, like to your point, he's never done that. He's never, I've rarely seen him even collab in Ireland. And sometimes when we look at uplift people, but uplift too, who is your community? I could elevate now. My community is like, I'm going to uplift my family and my friends. And that's, my, and that's okay. I don't have to, it's not my duty. And it, it shouldn't, it's not my duty to be like, oh, what about the other creatives in Ireland? If I don't feel like that, if that's what's important to me. Mm-hmm. And I understand, like, I, I remember I was watching If I Speak and, Godi went on, like, he gave his POV, and I was like, yeah, I, I see it. I see, like, you know what? We backed you. We supported you. We were all rooting for you to get a million. We, we, we like, you're still like, with that, we really backed you. We were behind you. And the first chance you get to speak on us is for you to minimize our work rate and to shit on us. I, I understand. It's a shitty thing to do. But at the same time, it's like, we need to stop expecting people will do what we would do or what we would be what would be nice to do, given that part from me. And yeah, Victor can hold the smoke. Of course, nobody's like we, you need sometimes you need people that hold people accountable, saying like, look, bro, you've elevated, you come from this place, people are trying to be like you. Give them like do better with the power you have. I get it. But I also don't think that they have to or they should because he doesn't have to. Yeah, we we like we can't look at niggas now, like we can't look at him and say like, okay, maybe Maybe Dongo would say, broke around from Tala, if I elevate, my, my thing is to get my my council estate up here. I'm, I don't look at Balbriga or Brega. I'm like, oh, yeah, Brega, Balbriga. If, if I elevate, you mans, run. They, those are the people I'm like, yeah, no, these yeah. are the niggas I chat to every day. And if I'm in these spaces, I want these niggas to be in these spaces with me. Mm-hmm. So I, don't, I think sometimes what we do is we like, put our expectations what, or what we would do on other people and when they don't behave like how we would behave then we get disappointed yeah. and I'm not saying you shouldn't call it out you can call it out you can be like do better with the privilege you have mm-hmm. we, do, we already have limited amount of resources limited amount of opportunities because you are getting so maybe you can get those opportunities but sometimes that's looking at someone like it's like Simba says why are you rapping for me in a club I'm not gonna I can't get you out of this hood I'm not your savior Facts. And it's like, so, so we also have to have that mentality with uh, like and there's no wrong with that. He's, he's like saying, why are you rapping for me? And because it's because you think you have an expectation that like, oh, if I rap for Simba in a club, 
he's gonna, he's he's gonna, gonna give me a black. open doors for me. So I think the expectation was like, oh, if Victor elevates and he's there and he gets the opportunity, he's gonna open the door for everybody. And I and I think just like it's a lot of pressure on it's, it's a lot of pressure on one man, and I don't think we should like community means different things to different people. Yeah, also, also it means different things to different. Also, people. this is the thing. Yeah, I'm not, I'm speaking for myself. Yeah, I don't know him. Yeah, all yeah. I know is the character that he plays on the internet mm-hmm. and what he shows us. I don't know if he's a good person, he's a bad person, if he's, if he's cool, if he even likes the niggas that are around him or yeah. that are around, or like, in... In the scene. The scene. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Like, That's true. I, we, I don't know anything about him. Do you get what I'm saying? So I have zero expectations from him. And to be fair, because of what you said in terms of, like, how he made it, he did it with really... It's only him and his phone in his room or his car. Mm. So he didn't do it based on people with people in the scene. He didn't collab with the scene. He didn't... Nobody, from the outside, it looks like nobody... And within Ireland, the scene gave him a hand to elevate himself. I can understand what he would look at that. I did this break by break by myself in a car in my room, mm-hmm. creating a car. And I kept recording. And I kept recording. So I, I can understand him saying, no, I don't know why you man's just don't, don't do this or work as hard. So now we're looking at him because, oh, because we tweeted about him or we said, I was one of those people. I was like, so, yo, Victor to 1M, sharing the stuff. Like, I was laughing. I was like, I can understand now us thinking, like, oh, no, we backed this guy. And the first chance he gets is to shit on us. But I can also see his point of view is like, yeah, you guys might have shared the post, but who really helped me here? And like, on, so why am I to help you guys? Honestly, I also when I when I see that he ain't talking about me, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. Pushing. but like, but like, like, and I, I think, I think also he might be reducing his, I don't know if it's ability, talent, or blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. to oh, or Because like, well, yeah. the the thing is, that's why we saw that's doing the exact same thing that Victor was doing at the same work rate and still didn't get what yeah, you got. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I'm Sometimes saying? Sometimes you just have that blessing. Yeah, the yeah. grace. But like the other the other part of it that I wasn't didn't know if I was gonna speak on it, but the other part of it is like I think Victor is also a great example of why a lot of people quit. Mm. In terms of look at how much Victor has done mm, mm, mm. and look at his following. And once again, I don't know everything that he's doing mm-hmm. and I don't know what is going on in the background or what's working, but it feels like the opportunities that Victor gets versus what he has yeah, in terms yeah. of a following, yeah. it doesn't match up. Yeah, yeah. Like, and I feel like that could also be just people management catching the. Yeah, yeah but places. still, yeah. like, like okay, we we look we look we look at we look at followers as social currency, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And a certain amount of followers opens a certain amount of doors and mm-hmm, stuff for you, right? Mm-hmm. And there's people like I'll use Dami. Granted, Dami built his uh, his his a lot of his following off Love Island, Love Island and stuff yeah. like that, but still, Dami doesn't have as many followers as Victor. Yeah. But we see Dami everywhere. In every different room. And every yeah. different room. Victor, Victor, if let's say if Victor was in the UK or anywhere else for that matter, mm-hmm. with 500k followers, mm-hmm. are we are we still talking about Victor in the same way? And Is Victor still doing the same skits that he's doing? Do you get what I mean? Yeah, no, I, I get and what you're saying. I think you th- would think based on what we've seen from social media with the same amount of followers that he has, he would, pro- he would be doing a bit more or we'll be seeming in more he has different opportunities than what we may be seeing yeah, and once again, like, again I, we don't I, see everything but obviously we're only, we can only talk about what we see yeah, on the so timeline so. I, think, I think that just goes to show of like especially in Ireland it feels like we have a problem with resources and stuff like that mm. and we have to do so much more to get so much less so it's kind of like let, let's even just talk about us we're the perfect example for this people are like oh you guys shouldn't quit you guys shouldn't go you're doing this you're doing this you're doing this but it's kind of like all of the work and everything that we put in versus what we get back, it yeah. feels very, you look at it and it's like, is it worth it? Mm-hmm. Like, if you're not in this for getting getting, getting gas because you see a couple of people tweet about it or a couple of people say, yeah, this is cool, I love your podcast, or like that. And you look at it, it's like, I'm spending all this money, resources and time Hi. to yeah. get what back? Yeah. Likes on Instagram. Yeah, and then if you, if you, and then don't get me wrong, they're nice. I but fucking love the, it, I appreciate it. In the long term, it's like, yeah, I, I, I get what you're saying, it could be like, so you can't just put it down to like, oh, people don't grind because people could grind and they're looking at the result, the results of their grind versus what they how much they're grinding. They're like, this is not worth it for me. And you, then to those minim- I think the generalization and the minimization of people's work mm-hmm. is absolutely wrong. It was definitely wrong. I don't think you should have done that. But I'll, I definitely don't think also like this whole thing that we we need to stop looking at each other like, oh, we're a community. We're gonna help each other. One one person goes through the door. We're gonna we need that. I. As I used to believe it. I used to, like I said, I used to sit here and think like, oh, people are going to get opportunities and with that opportunities they get, we are, we're, we're a community that are going to try to open doors for others. We need to start having that, like, you're just going to disappoint yourself. If that's not, if you want to do that for your community and your community is 
Who cares? Your community is whatever you define it to be. Your mm-hmm. community could be your brother, your mom, and your, your your nieces and nephew, and that's the people you care for. So we need to start having these expectations that okay, Dam is in this space now, or Victor is in this, or they have this many following, and that okay, where their community, they're gonna come back and uplift their community. Fuck, fuck that. Because what I've learned is everybody, a lot of people are looking out for themselves. People want these things to move, but they want to be at the forefront of when the things move. The, people are don't are not willing to like like play like play. People are going on five years of their content, five years of their podcast, five years of their music. Like Naomi Jeremiah said, ain't no, ain't no thing really changing for many people. But do you know why? Because in this community, as we talk about community, we talk about building community, we talk about walking with each other. Yeah, 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 yeah. In short, people want their moments. People want that moment, oh, I sold Soundhouse. Oh, I sold Wheelins. Oh, I sold Sugar Club. Oh, that's what people actually want. To, build, to say this, like, oh, people care about moving the community forward, I don't think people care for that or want it as much as we're led to believe they, i so, feel like there's very few people that do and i think it shows who who really cares about exactly it. like if if i want to speak about it put some re- respect on zeta's name yes because she's the one that really wants to do this thing you've seen her uh what's called the highlight 30 the whatever like she keeps mm-hmm. doing things it's like mm-hmm. all right cool she, even when it comes to like irish designers she's wearing irish designers mm-hmm. tagging them doing all that yep. kind of shit if i have to say if there's one person that actually cares about growing this scene and it seems like she's doing it for the love of this thing yeah. is her. Outside of that, I'm and, not gonna lie. I don't know. Outside of that, and then and that's it. Because people, you will. And the thing about Aaron is, I've like they said, we, we, I've done this thing now uh, with the in the scene three years now. Properly, you, so you see smoke and mirrors. You see, you see where people are. You see how people talk versus what they do. And and I promise you, people want their moments, and that's okay. But let's be honest about it. People want their moments, and they'll tell you, oh, but I want to, I want us to grow as a scene. Mm, maybe you want the scene to grow. But you want to be at the forefront of that growth. And you don't want to be like, this thing can grow even if I have to sacrifice and take a step back. So that's what we're now we're looking at. We look at Victor and be like, oh, he doesn't want us to grow. He doesn't want to lift, uplift us. But I don't think that's the case for a, a, a lot of people I've encountered. Oh, also, this, encountered is, this, so this, this is the other thing here. Yeah. I don't fucking know you. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, let, let's, let's, like, let's keep this a buck here. Yeah. Like, if I have some connection with you or something like that, like I don't mind helping people out and all mm-hmm, that kind of shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like it is cool. It is if you come to me and say oh, I want to start a podcast. Oh yeah, you could do this. You could do this. You could do this. Outside of that, nah. do you get what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, right? Just because I have a podcast and you have a podcast and we so happen to live in the same country, yeah, I have to help you. Yeah, yeah. get I, the I fuck to, out of I here. Have to give you a, like I, I get that. I do understand that it is disappointing because I felt that disappointment as well. I thought that people would that would have resources and will get into certain areas, certain spaces. When that getting so to happen, I said it to Dave. I said, and Dave was the one that said, "Look, despite how I feel, despite my involvement, despite me not being involved, I want black people to win, and I want like I'm invested in Ireland. My kids here, like I'm mm-hmm. invested in this country, so I want as many avenue for black people as possible. And I thought like, yeah, you're gonna get people in certain doors. People are gonna be in certain spaces, and they're gonna do the right thing and try to." open spaces for people that look like us and look the, the more I do this the more I see behind I see what people say and people do I'm like no at the end of the day because of lack of resources because of so, the scarcity of resources people still want their moment they want to do what's best for them and there's a lot of things that people be like oh we can work together but I can do this myself and benefit a lot from more so there's not going to be any growth in that as, as we've had moments and we keep we will continue to have them. the moments won't stop mm-hmm. the growth will be like I said for like five years there's podcasts that are going on five years there's musicians that are going on five years there's a lot of things that are going on the pandemic was f- like in march in three months pandemic was five years ago mm-hmm. so in that five years a lot of th- people have started creatives things haven't moved like we think they've moved or because we're still i feel people are still focused on get having their moment our sound house sugar club wheelings and selling out and having your picture that you're taking with the crowd but once once you hey, have that have moment, one. i know <laughs> once you have that moment one or two times that's it. You, you, in this country, especially in the Black Island, that you, that's it. You, you, I don't. I can't see. You won't get past that. Moment. Yeah, but you won't get past the, but I think I don't. I don't think that's a lack of wanting to or feeling like that moment is enough. Because like you said, that feeling, that feeling is it's addictive. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and you're gonna oh, want yeah, it more. Yeah, and naturally, yeah. you're gonna want to do bigger. Because like if you do Soundhouse three times. The second time, it's, it's cool. Third time, you, it's, it doesn't hit the same. Yeah. You're chasing that feeling yeah, again. Yeah, 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 and the yeah. only thing to do is next do Sugar Club or yeah, do whatever. But, yeah, yeah. My, but the, what I'm saying is, I feel like the problem, it comes back to resources. Mm-hmm. The co- problem comes back to, we're doing so much and we're putting in so much time. Like, okay, Kessie came on here and said, the only reason he can, he can really do his music is because of his 9 to 5. Yeah, yeah. If he didn't have his 9 to 5, he couldn't do his music. Yeah. And, that boy loves his music so much. Mm-hmm. That man loves his music so much that he will continue to do that. Mm-hmm. But for people that is kind of like, this is cool, but do I love it? Yeah. Now, we have 
we have some fuck like let's let's pull it out there. We've got where's your head at? Fucking amazing. They've had their viral moments where it's not only been Iron mm-hmm. Island that bro, people everyone around the around the world were using that fucking blonde bob mm-hmm. sound mm-hmm. everywhere. Mm-hmm. Let's 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 be fucking real. Mm-hmm. What, what's it done? Mm-hmm. Like where's the resources? Mm-hmm. Is like I, once again, I don't know about them, and I'm not speaking on their thing. I'm just using them as an example. Is their thing self sufficient even? Mm-hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, or do we still have to pour all of this into it? And at what at a point it starts getting, I've got this business, I've got this, I've got a marriage, I've got a kid, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this, I've got this for something that I'm still having to pour money into. Yeah. And I've I've grinded, call me lazy. Yeah. But I've grinded for five years, yeah. and it feels like we're still in the same spot. Uh, at what point does it feel like? And that's that. You're spot on. That's what I'm trying. Like, just I'm, as long as. You're spot on. As long as we are still like, I'm still pouring into this. I've done this for five years. And I, that's what I'm saying. We're limited. And I think, I tweeted yesterday. It's like, don't me, Jeremiah. Actually, it's, she inspired me to say this. She's like, because she, she has the same mindset as you in terms of pulling out singles. And she was, she's speaking about resources. She's like, I'm going to put in all this work and I still feel like I'm captain. I still feel like I'm limited and I'm going to put in work. But then at one point, I'm like, when Cardi was coming up, extreme example. But why are you not here? Share resources. Get in the studio with someone. And she make a song together and actually share the studio time. So you're half in your cause. Because we all will have all this talk on building together and community and all of this. And we don't have real resources. So yes, maybe individually, me and you might not have, like, we don't have the resources to keep this going or to build a live show. But by for by, we're here. We could be like, okay, we could share resources. We could put a live show. We could do a combined live show. Why is the mentality, like, to always think of, like, what what we can do? And it's always, it always feels like it's short term. There's no long term thing to it because we're there's no to your point there's resources it's scarce there's folk all resources so why aren't we then admitting that it's been five years and we can see this scarce resources and we can see we're limited and we're capped with our own resources so why are we not then doing this thing that we talk about all build together collaboration da, 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 da. why are we not putting that into practice stage easier said than done <laughs> Not like why? Uh, like why are why is uh, why is young bless and young is now saying like oh I can't get into the studio. This guy's raps well. He raps well. We both have the young thing going on. Have because to be fair, all he needs ninety seconds from is ninety seconds from bless. But now we have a song from both of you. And if you start, have to resource, now we have two songs from the both of you. And but you're all you're still getting your raps out. You're still getting your voice out. But because bless worked in pharma. Because he was on, he was here on the pod, but he can't. He has limited amount of resources. We preach about community. We preach about collaboration. We preach about working together. But last, last, everybody wants to be the one that does it. I, they want to be like, I did it. Did, I, they, don't, they don't. I don't think people believe in this community and think that as much as they want to say they do. I really don't. I, I, I don't. I, I, I hear you, and I agree for some people. Yeah. But on, on the other time, for some other people, it's just I just don't trust you niggas. The, like, okay, like, good. Then can we stop pretending? Look, as a community, a- can we stop? Fr- <laughs> no, no, no. Can we stop fronting? Can we stop fronting? Like we all want to work together, yeah, everyone, we want to collab. Everybody like, wants to be friends. Is, wants to be- can we stop fronting? <laughs> no. Do you know what? Fair. I. Do you know? What? I agree with you. I don't trust you niggas. No, and but also, at least let's say it. Oh, we'll have us come and cap and be like, oh, we should be working together. We should be collaborating. We should be doing this and that. And that. Stop the cap. Yeah. Okay, we hate each but, other. But like, but like, we we, we like we like the thing with like collaboration and stuff. Yeah, because sometimes it's like. We've seen it in some of our situations. One party might care more than the other party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then one party is treating it like a hobby while the other party is treating it like a job. Mm-hmm. Now, we're going in the studio. We have we have an hour. You have 30 minutes. Okay, I have 30 okay. minutes. But you're, you're coming in and smoking and drinking and doing all you this. Now, you're, now, you're yeah, so, yeah. now you're, your song's taking 40 minutes to do. Yeah. And I've only got 10 minutes to record my song. But we're, going, we're, we're both paying half. I agree. You have to find someone with equally yoked, equally vision and equal passion. I get it. Because even... If you want to do something and one, work, let's speak of our, let's speak of our, mm-hmm. what we do, the podcast. If you want to do like a big event, it might not benefit, like a podcast I just started off 30 views. Mm-hmm. It's more beneficial for them to be on the card with maybe, uh, if I speak, because he is like, like, why am I, they just have 30 views. There's no real benefit for me mm-hmm. to be on this. So, and I, I understand that sometimes to make the sacrifices, like to your point is, it also has to be beneficial for me. If you want me to collab with you, you can't be just coming here drinking and smoking and being late. How is this benefit? I, th- that's a fair point. But you, you can also find, to my point is, if we are people who are saying our mo- drive is, like, it's not a hobby. We want the scene to grow. Isn't that what we all say? If you know what we also we, we're, it's not like one person whatever it be hobby whatever it be like, I just want to do for my for my nine, for my five we all we all talk like I want the scene to grow is that what we also so we're equally yoked so we all have the same vision now mm, mm, nah, no 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 because because <laughs> it's it's easy to talk about it I, it's easy to talk about it yes like okay 
Fuck it. What's <laughs> going? It's easy to talk about it. Yes. But the same situations that we've had, where it's like, oh, it's time to really do this thing, and you're disappearing. I'm the wait, first of all. I'm from my well. I'm the nigga that's disappearing. <laughs> yeah. But and when we weren't equally yoked, what happened to the pod? Fam? It collapsed. And and but that's what, but that's what I'm saying about. <laughs> yeah. But that's what I'm saying about about it's the. Easy to, I agree. It's like that's what. But that's what I'm saying about this, this this whole thing. Like you you've seen. It's so easy. Everybody is excited when it comes to the idea. Like, okay, even... Oh, man. Yeah. I start with, like, seven, man. Yeah, yeah. First episode is... Everybody wants to be there. It's still exciting. It's cool. It's cool. When we got to the 20th episode, I think there was three, three four, man on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the time we got to, like, the 15th episode, it was three, man. It was. Do you get what I'm saying? Simba, up and uh, to another guy. <laughs> yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's kind of like... it's. Everybody, when it comes to creating the idea and creating the let's all do this together, let's it's all it. fun. Uh-huh. Everybody wants to do that. Yeah. But when it comes to, are you ready to oh. are you ready to edit at three a.m. in the morning? Or they'd be like, oh, but what's in it for me? Bro. <laughs> oh, how do I? Then it becomes about again. It becomes about self and to, I, everything you're saying. That I agree with you. People are people like idea. I always say the people are idealistic. And then people are there. We're idea. We like the idea of collaboration. We like the idea of community. But when it comes to it, and we're, uh, uh, people are introduced with an idea, I'll use bless and uh, is again. It comes to it, they introduce with an idea, now it comes to time to share and everything, blah, blah, blah. Everybody starts thinking like, yeah, but how do I benefit from this? Instead of like, the, you're missing sometimes where we miss the bigger picture. We miss what's missing. Like I'm saying, like play like play, a lot of these creative endeavors are going on five years and we're, we're still focused on self. We're still focusing on moments. We're not thinking of like how we can create a sustainable a sustainable scene that where people can actually, eat, and it's okay. People can actually think about self and self-benefit. And I agree with you, but pe- we've got to stop lying to ourselves about it. We've okay. got to stop pretending. That's What's it. Cool. Let so me, Victor, to, bro- to for my point, Victor, I don't. Ag- I, I understand why people are upset. You minimize the grind or whatever, but I get him, like him also saying that oh, like he doesn't know anybody anything. He yeah, but like that's but that's, that's what that's what I would say. We I like to pretend that we want we think we think about community, but a lot of us. Don't. But that's why I always say like I expect nothing from everybody, like. Yeah. Because, once again, just because we could have been here grinding together, and but one day you pop, and you turn around and just delete my number. I can't even be mad. Like, <laughs> it's just, well, you, you unfollow me once you pop. Like, I can't even be mad. But, um, okay, let's, let's, let's have an actual conversation then, yeah? What does... I don't see how collaboration within... Let's even just use podcasts as it, as, as, the, as a thing. Collaboration in podcasts is what? Like, how does that how does that grow the scene? How does that make any of us better? How does within podcast yeah, specifically? Within, 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 within okay. us to build an ecosystem where it, the content actually becomes monetizable and like, let's say we have things that will actually feed each other and mm-hmm, make mm-hmm. this worth it. Because mm-hmm. I don't see it. I don't, see, fair. I don't think podcasting is the, is the way, but you can use the podcasters and, and build and do other type of content, which will str- help you stream your uh, the. Well, you know, kind of stuff like the side menu, that, that yeah, kind yeah. of content. Yeah, you can kind of start putting money together, putting time doing resources together, and have a plan. Like, sit down, have a plan. And say, okay, people, we have opinions and we have personalities, but people probably don't know us or listen. Like, you have you have that idea for me doing that content. Mm-hmm. With the yeah, 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 you do stuff like that, and everybody, all of those side men people, they'll have their YouTube channels which streams back to them, mm-hmm. and that all started because they were like, okay, we come to get, extreme example again, we come together, we build an audience, and we grow an audience, and then now you can go off and do your own thing. Like, you, as in sitting down and have mics, no, we obviously podcasters would be too many. Even Victor's content, when he did the content with like Dami for like for at the awards mm-hmm. last year, you do the content with Dami, but Dami does his individual, so if you do it, you're doing. Content. I'm not saying it's like we'll sit down and we'll do podcasts, everything we're collaborating, but there's an idea that okay, we have opinion and we have personalities, but sometimes what we are selling and the way we are selling it isn't getting those people. So it needs to be repackaged. What? It needs to be repackaged. It, it needs to be repackaged to a different type of content, but you, you and Tommy do like tall guy content and go, these are short, like something. Like, no, I, no, no, I, I, like, so, and then when people see that, and then they also see, oh, you have a podcast. I listen to shorts. Like, the comedians, a lot of comedians, they do, they repackage their content and then it leads back to the, to mm. the pod- podcast alone. I know it's hard, it's a hard sell for people to listen, but there's a ways that we have enough personalities we, and in terms of resources and money. But come you, together but and you, 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 you know what you're saying I've, I, I remember I told, I, we talked about this in, a year ago probably <laughs> probably over a year ago again bro that's what I'm trying to say we we have ideas we preach community we preach working together in collaboration and I I don't think we want that, to do it as much as we preach we do because when like, what, I don't have the I don't have like your, sorry to go to that question of like how do podcast that's one way I can think of mm-hmm. no you know, and, and, and you're not you're not wrong like yeah. it's essentially what a thought asylum did yeah yeah they, yeah, they yeah. grabbed everybody yes let's make content yes and 
from this, everybody will pop and then they... Then, Harry, I got this podcast. Yeah, what's called, called then they have the like, um, what's called, um, like they have their like reality show locked in where all the people are, is that for Salem or whatever? No, no, I, no, I think it was for Salem. But it doesn't, even, it doesn't even matter. But like, I look I look at that and when I when I had that idea and I was like, you know what, we have enough characters personalities. and personalities and all of that. And then I think about, all right, cool, where are we going to record this? Who's going to who's gonna film it? Who's going to edit it? And I think to your point, you told me once, like, I, I, again, in terms of resources, maybe we just need brand sponsorship to actually put money in this. Because I, 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 I thought Abs' idea for the end of the year thing was a good idea. I, th- I thought it was. But again, maybe people didn't think they were going to get off, out of it what they wanted. And the best way to get out of what you wanted is if he didn't put his own money forward. If he's like, you, you know what, Jameson or whatever, I'm fronting the bill for this. Let's just have this, let's let's create and have this moment. Because to your I understand it to your point. Like the point you made also is like you also have to make it worthwhile for people. Mm-hmm. You can't make it be like, oh, come and do this, and you're, you're really not making for call. But I also the flip side is that there also has to be an element of small, like, okay, I might not get fully what I want this time, but if I can be here and I see the vision, I grow the brand in five years or in two years, whatever, I'll actually get my work. When Tigo, when Tigo spilled all the text from Poet, mm-hmm. and the money start finally coming in and start making a profit, Poet told him. You can take what you want. Me, not right now. Let the brand keep growing. That's saying like, I'll sacrifice the pay today because I know in three years or five years, I'm actually going to get what it's worth. Yeah. And I think sometimes that has to be the thinking. Yeah, but like, okay, I like, look, what's called? Like, remember I told you years ago, I wanted to start the, I wanted to start the network. Yeah. And make a place where we can have, everybody's podcast is yeah. there. So hopefully one day, you finish watching Charge It and you see if I speak there as well. It's like, yeah. oh, or it just automatically plays next and you're like, oh, fuck, what's that? Yeah. Or I really fucking Charge It, Charge On if I, if I speak. It's all on the same channel. You can see everything is everything is there. And then also because if we have everybody under the same network, we could probably be easier to collaborate. However, now my problem with why I couldn't do this Resources. is because I can't pay for everybody's studio time, number mm-hmm, one. Mm-hmm. And with some with some certain people, yeah, what's called? I don't have, I don't have a space. Mm-hmm. And I don't have all the equipment for myself and all that kind of shit. And then also, I don't have, unless this is my full-time job, I don't have the capacity to record everybody's pod, edit everybody's pod and do all of this. Because I wanted it to be a thing of, you have a good, you have a good, you have good personalities, you have good podcasts, you have good energy, you have good this, like, okay, like, let's say a Babes on, Babes on Tapes, right? It's like, okay, you two are perfect, right? Sit down, record your shit, everything else is taken care of, we'll pop it, we'll pop it online. Uh And then, what what you get in return is you get your podcast essentially put, done for free and all that. I get the benefit of it. It's on the page, so we're growing more content on the page. And then eventually, I can start picking off different characters and being like, Joe Bunn Network, you come here, you come here, you come here, we can do this, we can do this, we can do this. And then build the audience that that's way. A, that's culture shops that you had. However, yeah. to do that successfully Money. is bags. Money, yeah, yeah. And I can't tell this videographer that, yeah, Come, we're doing this for the love of the game. <laughs> <laughs> we fight for charger. We fight to get a production team. And be like, <laughs> Bro, is, <laughs> and even when people, even when people agreed, I've been in situations where people have agreed to do shit, and it's like, yeah, cool, we'll do this for free. We'll do this for free. And now you're belling this person. It's like, I've got, I've got, I've got lunch with my babes tomorrow at this time, so I can't, I can't see you. I can't do that. Oh, I've, do you have that episode? Do you have that episode edited? Yeah, nah, I was just really busy. Do what? Football was on. <laughs> <laughs> because there's no incentive. Do you get what I'm saying? No and there's no incentive. Work. So, unless everybody's willing to come here and work for free, <laughs> until this thing really pops, and also trusting the person that is in charge to not fuck everybody over and actually take care of everybody when and the thing starts. you kind of have to give it to a little bit to filthies. Because those they weren't paid talents. A lot of, like we saw them, a lot of them weren't paid talents. Filthy only started making money like, and when they started making money, Tigo started stealing money. So for all those for all those years, they weren't paid talent, but they saw a vision. They and uh, okay, maybe because they're making money from other avenues and it's not the, but so, people are maybe because like they're making money from other avenues so they can do this. And they saw a vision, they came together, they saw a plan, and filthy is becoming what it's like and it became what it became. Yeah. So you if peop- if we want it as a community, we have to ac- we have to accept to your point. We don't have the money, we don't have the resources. We have to build it, and then hopefully, corporation sees us as like, oh, let's go collab with them. Then the money. But, but it's not gonna happen. But I, but I think the, I, but once again, I go going back to the problem of like the lack of resources. I think the biggest problem is with a filthy. You can say, all right, cool. I can see that. Yo, let's go back. So Solid Crew has worked with all of these brands. Okay. What's called Tinchy Strider has worked with all these brands. Okay. Ship has worked with all these brands. They had what's called Copa Nighty that was making money from, from YouTube. All of these, you can see that, right, 
at the end of this road, there is money. And it's possible because people, my neighbour has done it. This, this guy from here has done it. In Ireland, who do we look at that has really, like, yeah. I'm talking about really made money from brands. Like, I, we, like we know there's, we, we know there's the Amanda Ades that's, that's gone full time. We know there's like the Katia's that's on TV and stuff like that. But we're still in this space where it's like, you have these one-off stars, bang, 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 bang. Oh no, that's what, yeah. you will have moments. Yeah. <laughs> you but will have. The, but the problem, but the problem is, the problem is for the videographer, He's looking at this as like, all right, let's just say you guys start making money from YouTube. Yeah. Who in Ireland has done that to the point where it's like, you're making peace? Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? And that has been here and stayed here. Do you get what I'm saying? Because the minute I, I see you move into the UK market and you're fucking with all the UK influencers, you're gone. Mm -hmm. you're, you're not part of this anymore. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, if it was like, for you to make it, look, let's look at the people that are doing it on a better scale right now, GTG. Yeah. Like we're not seeing a lot of a lot, uh, bro. Yeah. There's a lot of, of flights, flights going on. They're saying this is a second home. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, there's a lot of different things yeah. going on, and we can see it's on, pushing. Can we? Maybe that's right. Maybe whatever I said, you can scrap and just be sent to your point. Is like, you know what? It's not gonna happen here. Go to the UK. Oh, no, no, no. Can we Fags. just stop pretending then? Facts. Go can get your just, money. Yeah. Can we just stop? Like, we wanted to because we grew up here, and we're, a lot of us feel like we belong here, and we want to have our own space, and we want to have our own scene that we can monetize. And we don't have to go but I know we really want it but sometimes the, like the, everything you just said the reality might not be that well, might, you know what, let's, let's, even take a, let's even take out the black space yeah, yeah. what's her name what, Maura from Love Island yeah? yeah she came back to Ireland where is she <laughs> I know she might be doing stuff yeah. but the stuff that she's doing is it in Ireland I, I, I don't even I don't, I, even, exactly. I don't, even, I don't even know but that's yeah. my point when it comes back to here how many people here white or black influencers and once again I'm oblivious I don't know mm. are making money here yeah, and what from percentage brands. of it is it's like, yeah, I would know about the what, like, yeah, I don't know. Do you get what I'm saying? And I think I until that issue is solved, we're always just going to have the ones off and all of your success comes from the minute you step outside of this, outside of this industry or space. When then that happens, then we have the victory thing. We expect that person to then be like, oh, uplift us now. Like, come and, come and look after, because you've, you, you made it through. You, you've gone through it. Now come and... It's now we're looking at those guys having moments sporadically here and there to come and uplift the whole thing. And then when they don't, yeah, that is disappointing. Because it, it's not to say that Victor could have changed, li changed life. landscape things. It's to say that he could have put light or could put shine or put praise on the people doing well. And I and I get that. And not him not doing it is disappointing. But sometimes it's like we look at us like, I look at him and I'm like, to your point, he doesn't go anywhere. I, I've seen him one time at the awards two years ago. Mm -hmm. And he's probably looking at it from an angle like, I think KD, I'm going to steal his point. He says like, we, because we do podcasts, we, we're more intentional about who's doing what. We talk to people who are doing things. So we're aware that people are grinding. Mm -hmm. But his content is like, he's in his room by himself or his house by himself. So he might not just be aware either of what, because the question was content creators. So he's probably not even thinking about musicians. He's not even probably thinking about podcasters. He's probably thinking about like the line of content he specifically does, mm -hmm. and he would look at that line of content, and I'll be real. Apart from him, I don't. Maybe that guy Mick Moderos, what well, I think his name. Yeah, is. yeah, yeah. Mick, yeah. shout out, Mick. Yeah. You're doing your thing. Yeah. Apart from those two, I also don't see anybody, so I can understand him. And he's actually in that space, yeah. so I can understand him saying like, "Oh, in terms of content creators, there's nobody." But I also, yeah, but, so stop having expect. We need to have some certain. My whole point was, we just need to have sort having certain expectations either mm -hmm. on people or on the community to to move a certain way yeah but I, I i also think i also just think our market is not respected mm. like there's no like i don't think brands look at it and say there's money here to be made mm -hmm. and i think that's the biggest problem yeah they throws the ball because like yeah we get we get fed scraps yeah you know what I'm here. yeah here's here's some like, free drinks here's some free drinks for your events mean? like is, is it just it's just, just a, it's just just a way for them to attach this is not even about like them because they take enough take i don't i don't know is it but is it just a, a way for a corporation to attach themselves to a black and irish brand so they'd be like to meet the metrics of mm -hmm. dei or whatever because to your point the trainers are scrapped they say oh yeah powered by rte and we all say oh shit rte is looking after this but we actually don't know what it means i hope it's some money are they paying for the venue are they paying for the food are they like how are they empowering this or, or powering it? Sorry. So, but you, that's the, the point they're making. Does they just feel the scraps and we just take it because yeah, we're so little. Literally, like, what's yeah. called, like, like, are these, because I know Red, Red Bull love doing this. They'll give you Red Bull for your event. 
they'll give you they'll give you cans on cans <laughs> <laughs> and then you say yeah or, or, uh, and the one that, and the technically one you're sponsoring us <laughs> yeah but where's the money bro <laughs> the, the people the one that I've been doing the recent day a lot is like Jameson they'll just attach themselves and I don't know like do you just get free Jameson or are they like putting cash in people's pockets mm-hmm. or are they just putting their attaching their name on like you'll see okay Jameson GTG will tag them they're like oh shit like is that just brand awareness for them and you got a free few drinks or are you actually paying these girls like do you know do you, but <laughs> and, and I, th- I think until until it, our scene is looked at as valuable it's, it's you're not gonna birth anything crazy out here yeah. you might have the occasional person that like like a Travis and Elsa like they're so talented and everything is just look like the global eyes are starting to look at you and like even look at even look at what they are doing as well. Yeah. Travis had, Travis was in fucking New York or wherever the fuck he was. He went to yeah. America to do that shit. Now he's in he's in the UK, he's in London on um on AG's live or whatever, or DJ AG or whatever his name is on his live. They're doing freestyles here and there. Once again, everything not here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? I maybe know. maybe maybe the answer is as short as Sha, community, no community, leave island. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Maybe, maybe, you maybe. Might, you might be right. <laughs> maybe that's because we can sh- we can shout uh, people are doing this individually. We're not working as a community or do work as a community. Mm-hmm. Maybe the answer is just hey, <laughs> leave the country. Anyways, but that's look, it, man. That's, shout that's not shout out Victor still, do your thing. Yeah, man. Shout out one M one M followers is not it's not easy for you <laughs> do your, do your by thing. any means. Do your Keep thing. doing your thing, like <laughs> I would love to come here and hate, but I don't care enough to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else has been going on? No. Um, I saw a tweet today, DJ. Yeah? Yeah. Someone says, why is it in the dating stage you can't ask a girl, uh, can you cook? Why, why is that? Why is that Why is that an offensive question? I never thought about it, but I know they hate it. I know women hate when you ask them, can you cook? I don't, And I love speaking for women on this part, as everybody knows. But why is it an offensive question to say, can you cook? Because I think the follow-up question is, will you cook for me? <laughs> oh, so they're prompting the follow-up. I think so. Maybe. Hey, what, I don't know. What's wrong with asking, can you cook for me? Okay, for girls, can you give me a lift? Are you, are you, can you drive me here? Are you, if you're, if you're talking stage, two weeks in. Two, do, wait, do I like you? <laughs> no. How long does it take you to like someone? On average. <laughs> I, I either like you or I don't. Okay. Six weeks in, a girl is like saying, oh, do, can you drive? And you're like, yeah. Six weeks is a long time for you to not figure out that I drove. I mean, okay, on, okay, okay, on our okay. date, I'm picking you up, bro. <laughs> For whatever yeah, 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 no, no, they no, say yeah, can yeah. you drive and say yeah I can drive and they said or oh, can you drive is that, is I, that? Think a, I think it's a false equivalency though okay but what's the equivalent because I don't understand why it's like oh, can you cook from why is, why is that bad I think it just goes it just goes to I, I, I'm not, no you shouldn't you probably don't know the answer but I just want to no 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 I think it's I think it, it goes to almost putting me in this box of I, you know what I think it just it just goes to everything that not that they're trying to run away from, but like you know, generations generations are like yeah, yeah, yeah. if you can't cook, you're almost worthless, oh, and all this kind okay. of shit. They're and it's kind of like worth is more than them being in the kitchen. Do you know what I mean? Kind and it's kind of like, bro, why are you asking me all these questions? Like, I don't even like you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's it. Maybe that's a part of it because be, to, to a lot of men, being a domesticated like like woman that can do all those things, it's it's an extra thing that as a, it doesn't mean they minimize you to that. But mm-hmm. it's like, oh, it's oh, it's like an, a, an extra point. Oh. She's lang, she studies, and she can cook. But for some reason, when you f- you, or you find out the lang thing f- quick by looking at them, yeah, okay. so you already know that. We're only so so, getting there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so some men are just. I think that some men just ask us be like, "Oh, what else can I? Mm-hmm. What else can I tick off the list?" But I always see that. I saw that tweet and I was like, "I yeah, I never really truly understood why that was like a." Don't ask me if I can cook. When 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 we have women on the podcast, why don't you ask these questions? Because oh, I saw I only saw it today. <laughs> I only saw it today. Well, um, what's called? What was I going to ask you? Um. What else is what else has been going on actually? Yeah, she. I, I think we. I know what's called. Uh, that was the biggest piece of news. Jake Paul and what's called obviously. Oh, did you watch? Did you watch any of the highlights? Uh, I watched the fight because I woke up in the middle of the night and it was on Netflix. So. You watched? Oh yes, yes, because it was for free. What do you think? Um, it went exactly how we thought it was gonna go. Yeah. Like, the man is fifty eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, yeah. I get he's Tyson, yeah. but he's fifty eight. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. let's let's be fucking for real. And like, then, we know we know what like. This guy is taking the Floyd method to a different level. Mm-hmm. I'm going to put you in a situation where you're rooting for me to lose yeah. against this Goliath that you think is still... Tyson isn't 20 anymore. Mm-hmm. He's not 30 anymore. Mm-hmm. Bro, he's an old man. No matter how great of a boxer he is, and he did look good. Yeah, Because in my in my opinion, he won those first two rounds. Yeah, he did look great. That. But he's old. Yeah. His reactions aren't the same as what they used to be. He hasn't fought in... 25 years, Kevin McBride. Pro- properly fought. Yeah. Like, he hasn't properly fought in 25 years, but yeah, he, hasn't, yeah, yeah. he hasn't He hasn't. been in the ring since he fought another old man yeah, yeah, yeah. like five years five ago years or ago. two years ago, whatever, however many years ago it was. 
against somebody that it doesn't even matter if you're not as skilled as a boxer. He's I'm training every day years. and I'm in my 20s in my fucking prime. Yeah. What the fuck did you guys think was going to happen? Yeah, yeah. And what do you think of the fact that people are saying it's fixed because of like it's staged? Um I like I think I think it's just it just goes back to whether it's staged or not. I think it just goes back to they don't want to say that this kid that nobody likes bet our icon who's yeah. Tyson. Yeah. Do you yeah. get what I'm saying? And I think people are people want this Jake Paul circus to end. Mm-hmm. Like and people have been wanting it to end when it started, and uh, we always find like, and that's what I will give to him. He's a mar- master marketer, and the way he's like we always say, you, you don't. The fact is, he's selling storyline, and he's not a great boxer, but he's selling storylines and he's selling narratives, mm-hmm. and that's what keeps him going. So why did stage not? I think I don't think you needed to stage him being a, a trained boxer that's training for five years in their mid twenties. I don't think you need to stage fighting a sixty year old. Like like you can. You can you can handle that, and I I think that's just a stage where I actually would like to see him get a bit more challenged, cause it's a it's a, it's a lot of gimme fights. He fought Tommy Fury, and I thought that was a good fight. He lost by a split decision, but I thought that's kind of the fight. But I was saying it to Simi at home. I was like, she's like, why doesn't he fight like a top ten boxer? I'm like, the problem with Jake is he has too much clout to fight a no name. You also need to bring a name to the table. Mike yeah. Tyson is a name. Anderson Silva, it's those a are name. name. So like Tommy Fury. It's a name. So, because for him to fight the twentieth best boxer in his weight division, he's gonna the twentieth best boxer will beat Jake Bro, Paul. Even because he's the twentieth best boxer. Even the tenth best boxer, you don't you don't have a name big enough. To, like exactly. I'm getting paid twenty million for this. Exactly. You have never. You probably haven't gotten paid twenty million in your whole career. Your whole career. So yeah, that's so that, I think that's why I was like that's what I was explaining to him. I was like, the, it's not just as easy because it's a business at the end of the day. Netflix are gonna want. The whole point that they sold this is because they put Mike Tyson on it. And also Jake Paul. Jake Paul's the name. Mm. So they're not going to be like, oh, whoever the 10th best boxer. I'm like, we, the boxers we know is Canelo, Joshua, Fury, and <laughs> Deontay I'm not, Wilder. I'm not, I'm not fighting Wilder because he might give me brain damage. Yeah. I'm not fighting AJ because he might give me brain damage. <laughs> I'm not fighting, uh, what's the last one? Uh, Canelo. Canelo. Because I don't have to. Yeah. yeah. Why, like, why, why, the minute I lose... It, it's all gone. I've, it's, it's all, all gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the thing that people are paying for, they're paying to see somebody ruin what I'm doing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So let me just keep fighting yeah. the massive names yeah. that I know probably aren't going to beat me. And even if they are, it, it might be just a bit more of a challenge, but yeah, they're not going to beat me. Because he's done the UFC fighters and he's beaten them. So they, 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 like, because they have no real like boxing. So like he's in a spot where it's like, you can't fight a no name. But you're probably the elite boxers like Canelo. You probably won't fight them. So I'm interested to see kind of like the avenue he goes into next because there's a uh, what's his name Arthur Benavidev who's like a top five ranked pound for pound boxer in the world. Exactly, most people don't even know him. Arthur Benavidev called him out and it's like when Jake was like, imagine now the top the number five pound for pound rank for in the world is calling me out. And I was thinking about it, I was like the thing with Jake Paul is it sells to the casuals. That's the point. And that's the point. For you not to fight the number five pound for pound boxer, the coaches knows. are going to be like, who's Arthur Benavidev? And nobody like, cares. Like, no, nobody cares. You see? And it's because in Ghana, boy, in Ghana, like 260 pounds. I don't think they'll, I don't think they'll sanction that fight. It's not worth it. Yeah. The, the, the world it, takes. It's, it's not, it's not worth it. Like, yeah, it's not worth it. it for, for Jake, why would I take that risk? Yeah. yeah. Like, this, it's just like, at the end of the day, you got to look at it as risk versus reward. Yeah, I'm trying huh? to keep my brand mm-hmm. versus whatever. Like, yeah, he's fighting Conor before he fights Francis. Dow. Conor's probably the next fight. Dow, if but they don't want that to happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I, I see. It has to be something. That's a good equivalent. It has to be someone with a big name with a low risk. But the, to, to the point is, there's no real contenders like that anymore. There's no real names with low risk anymore. Because either he fights low risk, no name, or high risk. Big, like, do you know what I mean? Because it's a the whole like thing what influencer boxing gets a spectacle. Mm-hmm. It's a show. No, if you people that are tuning in and then complain about the boxing isn't pure, oh okay. Well, <laughs> like this is this is what it is. For now, shout out, they're doing their thing though. Like to, to see people they come from Vine, hate them or love them, you can always like give people respect for what they're doing and mm-hmm. the, the fact that they've managed to build these brands and now he's probably in terms of boxing one of the big, apart from like the heavyweights and Canelo, he's probably one of the biggest names. So, um, all right, question for you, yeah. What's called? There's three choices, right? Yeah. A vault, a library, or a butler, right? Okay, vault, library, library or, or butler. butler. Yeah. With the library, you go into the library and you can pick any book. 
yeah. whatever book you whatever book you you pick and you read you literally go into that world and you experience that world okay. as it is in the book okay there's no physical harm that happens to you whatever happens in the book like you can just pop out at the end of the book okay. whatever okay literally any book you can think of yeah grand uh the library i mean the vault you can go in and there's just cash for days you can whatever you can carry out okay you can take okay and as soon as you leave that it gets okay. replenished okay so li- literally unlimited money whatever you want the butler ask him for anything you'll get it for you literally ask him for actual anything it's like having a fairly godparent essentially <laughs> <laughs> do you mean I was scared <laughs> no one understands <laughs> which one do you pick the butler because it's <laughs> Because the fairly hard first thing. <laughs> obviously, obviously, it has to be within reason. You can't just, yeah. you can't just, you can't just say, "Oh, spawn me" or whatever. Like, it will take time, but he'll eventually get something for you can within I, reason. With oh, okay, so can I ask the brother for money? Can no. you? Oh, I don't have to take the money, man. All these resources stuff we're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was like, I, honestly, I was like, say, okay, can you get me a Ferrari, and then he'll come back. He'll get you a Ferrari. Ferrari. He'll get you the Ferrari. He won't tell you how you got it, but he'll get you the Ferrari. Huh. No, because it could be... Because <laughs> then, the other thing is, like, he could get you resources that you could sell and still make money. What would you pick? Because the book thing, I'm like, I don't want to read any book, Lord. I don't read books like that. It's about, But the thing is, it's about you get to experience it. Like, because you know what it is, yeah? At the end of the day, with the money, things kind of get... Yeah. Like after you, yeah, like, let me feel that. On, on, honestly, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, after feel you get that. after you get to a certain point in life, like think think about all the shit you've done now. Yeah, yeah obviously yeah. the next level and there's next level and next level, whatever. Yeah. But at the level you're at now, everything kind of just falls down. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I get that. Even yeah, going yeah, on holidays yeah. for the most part, it's just like yeah, it's cool. Yeah, but it's not like anything. Yeah, like, no, being on holidays is just cool. Being in a hot country more than actually yeah, and and snapping country. saying yeah. that oh yeah, I work muscle. <laughs> 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 that will never get old. <laughs> that will never get old. But but I think. Oh, because capitalist society, shall you, I think you'd have to go for the money. You do, you do. Because sure? even if, the, even if, my thing is, I just think money, it's not about everything being there. It's just about having the freedom to do the things I actually want to do rather than the things I have to do. Like, I have to wake up at 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. I, I don't want to, but I have to. I have to go to work. And I could figure out then, okay, I think money and resources is what stops a lot of people from finding out what they actually want to do, which is why people actually go proper depressed when they have all the money in the world. And the grind stops, and they're like, "Raw, I'm still sad." Still not fulfilled. I, yeah, because I'm not off the fulfilled. So I think I I would like to think that if I had unlimited resources, what would you do? What, to do? Uh, what would I do? Yeah, if you didn't have to work, what would you actually do? I would build a sports media enterprise, maybe a buy a football club. I'll actually get properly invested into sports, or like buy an okay, get invested into an NBA team. Would you like, buy Chelsea? If you could buy Chelsea, would you buy Chelsea? Uh, no, 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 no. I like Arsenal. Sell so all their best friends to Chelsea. <laughs> get to relegate it <laughs> and then go back to <laughs> no I think that's what I would do I would actually be invested in some capacity whether it be like a GM and I run things or f- football director like to actually be engulfed in sports that's what I would do every because I would love that it's like Dana White runs the UFC yeah and he's gonna work till he dies because yeah. he loves this shit like who, who just runs the UFC I'll do podcasts with like every. I'll, I would be football version of Dana White but my question that's to it. you yeah, is that if if I understand being an adult and having to having to provide and pay bills and shit like yeah. that, yeah. But does it not feel empty or sad that you're you have this thing that you'd love to do, but you're just not even trying? Good question, Didge. And the answer is, I've thought about this because obviously uh, I, the answer is I thought about this because of leaving the pod, and I was like. I love doing this. Why am I stop doing it? And why am I, would I try to stop doing it? And I said, no, because the thing is, I don't live. I, I'm happy with the life I live. Could I want more? We're human beings. We always want more. We always want better. We always want bigger. About etc. It's, it's a human thing. But I don't wake up with regret or sadness in my life. I, I like. I went to. I was thinking because I went to Heritage on last weekend you went here it's a Saturday I think it was with my friends and just sitting there and sharing those moments and then going to like, see my parents and picking up my son bringing him home I live a very fulfilled life this mm. is that thing is I would love to do it but it doesn't bother me that I don't like some people they have a vision and they're like this is what I, t- I would love to do and if I'm not doing this I don't know if I can live life There's, for example I'll listen to you if I speak and good he's like this has to work this has to, I have to get it blah 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 and it's really focused on that 
And I was thinking about the pod. If the pod stops today and it doesn't work and I have to just live my life, I'm okay. Like, I don't live a life yeah, that... Yeah. Here. I don't like, live a life that... I, I love it, but it's not the... Do you know... It's not my purpose. That's it. That's it. Like, yeah, but, yeah it's not, I don't feel like it's my yeah, purpose. But, but the thing is, like, I, I, I hear that, but you still have, you still have an outlet, and you're still in a place where your kid isn't even one yet, so it's yeah. still very exciting. Yeah, yeah. What about when that that nigga's twelve? Yeah, but he wasn't here a year ago, and I still felt fulfilled. Yeah, but you also had, you also had, your marriage was still only still two years. Yeah, but, and again, fresh. I, I, that's the point. But my family, my friends, my marriage, my kids, all of that encompassing in my life. Mm-hmm. Make I have a fulfilled life. Okay, my kid's gonna grow, and yeah, I'm still gonna be able to travel with my wife, and I'm still like I like I still see my friends live twenty minutes of road. I, I talk to you guys every day. I don't live life thinking of like <laughs> like I live life by now. Like there's no such thing as a life that's better than yours. Mm-hmm. I, of course, I believe people have more money than me, yeah, and they can yeah. to go to Saint Tropez. But my level of happiness living the life I live isn't one that I desire particularly or crave for such more. Of course, I would love it, but I don't. I just I'm happy. Do you feel like that feeling is ever going to change? It could, yeah. We're human beings. We grow. I was thinking about, again. I was thinking about this yesterday, and I was thinking because I was talking. I was looking at Simi, and I was like, I hope as we grow, feelings change, things change, and it, that we develop and we remain equally yoked. We remain in the same place emotionally, because feelings can change, and this version of life might change, and her feelings towards me could change, and her feelings towards life. Like I might be happy living this life. But in five years, she could be like, this is not enough for me anymore. Mm-hmm. And I want more. And I want to move to the, like move abroad or move to Spain. And that I could be like, that doesn't That's entice that doesn't me. Fulfill yeah, me. that doesn't fulfill me. I don't want these things. And then you're at a weird stage. So I, mm-hmm. I do think about like, it's a, it's enough for now. I do have that thing that I love. Like I would love to be the football version of Dana White, basically. Like it's just, I'm just engulfed in sports. I'm just doing, but it's like, if it doesn't happen, you have something about this today. You have to be okay with Sometimes, not all the time. You have to be okay with. You have to create a life that you're okay living in case the big dreams might not. Because you might have a dream that I have to be out of this nine to five. I have to be working in media. I have to be doing blah blah. blah. But if you don't, those things don't happen for you. Are you still gonna be happy? Um. So if you if you still if like if you had to still be in a nine to five and you had to live like the life that you say, or maybe I envy people that live, they can go to have the 20 days holidays, blah, blah, blah. If the things that you aspire to, yeah, in life, they don't happen for you. Because they happen for the 1%. If they don't happen for you, the life that you create, are you still going to be happy living? I'm jumping. <laughs> See, that's the difference. <laughs> like, I'm okay. I, I've, I've created a life that I'm happy to live in. Yeah, I think I think because I don't feel like I've built the happy the life that I'm happy to live in yet. Okay. Like, and for that reason, like... I'm looking at it and maybe it's just the nine to fives that I've been in. Yeah. But I look at it and it's like, if I have the same problem in four or five different jobs, is it the jobs or is it just the structure? Yeah. And I think it's the structure. Like I, I hate the, I hate the, okay. You see, you see what, you see what you were talking about. You've got freedom in your job now. Yeah. Yeah. I think because maybe because I haven't had that level of freedom mm-hmm. of like I get really get to choose or right, look I'll see you at 10 o'clock yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <I'll be honest. laughs> do, 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 do you get what I'm saying yes, so yes. because I think because of the how frigid it is and how the lack the lack of flexibility that I have mm-hmm. it makes me feel like I'm a person I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it mm-hmm. and because I can't do that yeah it makes me start feeling boxed in yeah. and I think that's when the minute that I've left my nine to five and now, like I said, work might be a bit. I'm not making the same bags I was making. What all this kind of shit isn't isn't really working like like I like I wanted to. Yeah. But I also have the freedom of. I don't know if it's the freedom or percept perception of freedom. perception of freedom. But I know if I walk in ten minutes late, you're not chatting to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not chatting to me crazy. But you give me a little. You you give me a little. I'll let you, I'll give you a little. Do you get what I'm saying? Yes. But yes. it just feels like in these corporate jobs a lot of the time is you want me to give everything mm. and then when it's time for you to give I don't get anything mm. like like there's been a time where I, I was at work and I had a genuine emergency mm-hmm. and you're telling me you're taking half a, half of a holiday from me mm. like now I get that and it's not even that like if I leave this whole thing breaks down yeah, and yeah, you yeah. have to have me here yeah, yeah, yeah. this shit f- move like normal yeah if I left tomorrow why would you move like if I and I did leave tomorrow <laughs> and nothing changed. Yeah. Like if I if I if I decided today for the next three weeks I'm not coming in, everything will work the same and then I'll pop up and I, and it would work the exact same. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's not like there was my like I don't know, maybe maybe if it was me, 
and I was the I was the manager or the owner in that situation. Mm -hmm. And I understand, like, obviously there's people that take the piss and shit like that. If you're somebody that takes the piss, obviously I'm probably not going to give you the same leeway of mm -hmm. somebody that has built that trust with me. But it's kind of like, I sh I've showed up here every day. I've done my work every single time. Yeah. I've done everything that you needed me to do. If if I need to stay late, I've stayed late. But then I'm two minutes late to the office and you're pissing, and you're pissing yeah, me off. Yeah, yeah. Or I'm telling you that, yo, I'm not coming to the office today. Yeah. But you're giving me shit because you're not even there, but you want me there. I think that's also an example where having a good job because a job is it's nine to five, but it's also you wake up by the time you wake up and you get home, you add in like two, it makes like ten hours. So it's like four, 50, 60 hours of your week, and that engulfs you. So I understand the aspect, but in terms of just building the life that you have to live with, it's also away from career. It's the things that like you do outside. It's like for me, like I'm saying, yes, you like. So I, I, my, you, I talk to you guys, my, my closest friends every day. We have a podcast. We talk in the group chat. I went to Heritage with my friends. I made my Simi and my, my Simi get along so well. My, my kid, my parents live to Like, everything, that's what I'm, I'm talking about. Everything encompassing. Okay, take away from, from work for yourself. Is there other aspects of your life that you're like, do you know what? I'm actually happy with the life that I've, I, I wake up to a life I'm happy to wake up to. And if, if I don't become, if charity doesn't blow, for example, for me, I'm perfectly okay living the life that I live as long as I get to chat to you, man. I get to go out food with you, man. And like, I have my, I have my community. I'm happy. I, I think like what's called like I don't like if charge doesn't blow. I don't like it's not. Yeah, like, yeah. It's not gonna make me. It's not gonna make yeah. me jump or anything. Okay. But the thing is, I don't. I can't remove career from that because you spend ninety percent of your day, your time okay. there. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm, yeah. I spend. I wake up. You get. You essentially get one day off. Yeah. Friday you're in work. Yeah. Saturday, yeah, cool, you get that off. Sunday, you're preparing for work. Yeah. So I can't remove that part. Like, okay. it's such a massive part of everything. Yeah. Okay. Do you get what I'm saying? That, like, if it's such, yeah, it's such a massive part of everything yeah. that I, I think it's impossible to remove that. Okay. Because no matter how much I come here or I see my friends or whatever, and even that whole seeing your friends and doing yeah, this, yeah. it's so minuscule compared to the, 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 the time that I'm selling to these fuckers okay. that I can't. So to your okay, to your point is once you find a career that you're happy waking up to do, and the, which is I which is why now I understand why you're saying it to me that like you you clearly love something, and you're not chasing it. That's why you're kind of saying to mm -hmm. me like you clearly love sports and you're not chasing it because it's like a, a level, it's some kind of projection to you to say like if you found a career that you're happy to waking up to or you could love to you could chase you would find more fulfillment within your life. If I, I actually, I actually, I feel like a lot more things would fall into place and be happier if okay. you didn't have to wake up in the morning and be like, <sighs> do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah. you're coming back, you're coming back from holiday and the first thing that everybody says, oh, I have to do kind regards tomorrow. Yeah. Like yeah. Okay. that feeling of, oh, okay. that we feel every Sunday, every time we travel, every time you have to wake up in the morning. Yeah. And it's like, like even you, like even, even if you don't like the job, the great because like every job is gonna have a downside to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Footballers, they have a downside. They, you make all this money, but you have what two weeks in the year yeah, to yeah. spend it. They, they even complain that they play too much. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, so every job has a downside, yeah. But like, even the little things, like the job that I enjoyed the most was during the pandemic. Mm -hmm. I was I was fully remote because obviously the pandemic. But then they literally just this is your work, get it done. And did you feel? Not like you're happy to wear life you wake up with you. You didn't feel such a burden. I didn't life. feel such a burden, but the thing is, like, I would take the piss in terms yeah. of, like, I wouldn't, like, we do work, and we did work quarterly, so it's in three-month blocks. Yeah. So you work three months, at the end of the quarter, every, that's when it gets super busy, you push you push out the work, and then you get it done, right? Okay. So for maybe two two months out of the time, I'm not doing shit. Okay. I'm waking up, doing whatever the fuck I want to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah, However, yeah. when it comes to the end of the quarter, I'm there. Yeah. And I'm there the to work gets done. I'm there to 12 a.m. Yeah. Like I'm there to midnight, just crr, crr, this needs to be done for tomorrow. I'm gonna get it done. Mm -hmm. But because I had that flexibility of like, all right, cool. On a regular day, I'm going I'm going to get my hair cut. I'm going to yeah, this yeah. place to do okay. this. I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna go do this. And you're not on my case about it. Mm. If I if I woke up ten minutes late, an hour late, my managers didn't give a fuck. Yeah. It just said, This is this is the deadline. Get this done by then. Calm. Okay. And that was the time that I thrived I see, most. I see the different perceptions now. Like I, I see like because what you do for a living consume will consume so much of your time. You want it to make sense or you're just not going to wake up every day, 60, 70 hours of the week to a life that you actually fulfill living. Whereas I obviously sports is my passion. And like you said, if I, if I didn't have to work, I'll actually engulf myself in that work. But I don't feel the pressure to because I don't wake up to a life I feel <laughs> mad about. Now, yeah. I understand what people are saying. Like, like <laughs> I understand what people are saying that like I have to be in this office again. No, I must make it because this takes up so much of my time, and I can't continue to do this. Whereas my perception, I've been lucky. Maybe I've been lucky in my career. Like every 
job I've had has been relatively like it's <laughs> it's been calm. So when I wake up, I tell them like I'll be here in this time. I drop my son, and it allows me to live. It allows me to live life at my pace, mm-hmm. and that's kind of why I'm like, yeah, I would love to be engulfed myself within sports, but I don't feel the pressure to uh, to do it. But I I know I know it's not. Listen, listen. I'm not even talking about it being a pressure that you feel like you have to do it. Yeah. But even do you not feel like if it, there's even a one percent chance? I'm not saying quit your job and all oh, today. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what I'm going to do. But even just like fulfill that passion a little bit. Yeah. And, See if it does go somewhere. Like if it goes nowhere, at the end of the day, like you said, I'm happy with life. Do you know what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I think I get it out, like the the whole having the hot take and opinions and mm. banter and. Gr- I think I get it out through group chats. I think that like, through group chats and Twitter, and I feel like I see Cam's do it on like a very very high level, and then he has an opinion. He put it on on the video, and then people are interacting, laughing. He's just doing the same thing I'm doing, except like on a. High level, where he gets to meet Jose, Rio, yeah, yeah. whatever. And I, sometimes I look at it like, oh, it's like uh, this is what I could have done. I could. And to your point is, there's no love for me to say when we we're talking about earlier. Do you love it or do you just want to do it? Remember, the, we're talking mm-hmm. about content creators yeah, yeah. during the pandemic. Did people love it or did they just want to do it? And I think it's just a thing. Is like I would love to, but do I really want to do it? Probably. Uh, but are, yeah, are you, no. my question to you is, are you just saying that because you feel like I don't know if I'm gonna get there? No, because I do this and I don't know if I'm gonna get there. Yeah, but. This versus this is this is different to your, like you have a whole sports page. Yeah, yeah, that's that's different level of, I like you had the sports page. You have to we have to have a podcast page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for the podcast, yeah, right? Yeah. You don't. There's no reason in life why you needed the sports page. <laughs> I want to argue with people, but but that's my point. <laughs> like Cam's was doing the exact same thing you yeah, were doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just kept doing it. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Poured yeah. more into and it. And I just put more, yeah, yeah. He just was doing the same thing, poured more into it, bought equipment and did it on YouTube. And that's, and that's the difference between someone that really wants it and someone that thinks they want it. Oh, so you think you want it. Yeah, no, 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 it. it's evidence. Like, it's not even, like, you're, like you're saying, we did the exact same thing. The mm-hmm. difference is, lies and calms and said, you know what, no, no, no. I actually really want this. I love talking about sports. I love following sports. And as much as I can say, as much as I can give out about people being idealistic and want, saying we want things to work but we mm-hmm. don't really want it to work, I, I'm the same. Like, I'll be like, oh yeah, I would love to do this. I, I, I want it. But the people that want it, like you are saying about uh, Sarah earlier, she shows you who's about it. Mm, like, yeah, she's like, <laughs> she, 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 like, some people say they're about it, but she, like, some people show you they're about it. And I think mm. that's what they, that's what the boys do. I can, I just, maybe in terms of the sports, I just say I'm about it and I say, and you actually see people are like, no, Cam's, he has, Jose Mourinho took his phone and we referred and I took a selfie and, and left it there. Those are people that are like, and I'm, I want I love it though. I love when I see black people in that space. I'm like, go on, you go. Look, man, we love to see black people. <laughs> okay, but, but um, anything else? I'd, I'd be stretching if I could think of it. Yeah, else. yeah, great. So if you made it to the end of this part today and you didn't like anything to say, well, you can charge it. Bang bang. Thank you for listening. <laughs>